free and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved and it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street and welcome to our new studio. I did say that it was going to be very, very, very exciting today. And I must say it was real touch and go. So we've had technicians working through the night to get us into our brand new home. So welcome. Uh, those of you that are joining us for the first time, my name's Vicky with you till 12 o'clock today. And we've got a jam packed show in our brand new home. How strange is this? We've been going live since um, February now and we were kind of like jewellery makers annoying siblings who have been borrowing their room and then obviously with, with what's been going on in the world over the last seven months we've been saying so can we kind of extend our stay a bit from two weeks to seven months so we finally got our own home and um, as I say even yesterday it was touch and go wondering whether we were going to be in here or not so I must say thank you as well to Simon to Ben to Matthew to Elliot to Neil to Hayley to Hayley B to everybody who was working behind the scenes uh, and of course all of the technical team have been working tirelessly through the night to welcome you to our brand new home. So to welcome everybody, we wanted to do something really special and offer you a special deal, a special offer. So those of you that are buying with us today, if you're spending 40 pounds or more in one single transaction, then you will save 10 pounds, which is brilliant. So you can save 10 pounds today. Now you do need to use the code new studio at checkout. Now, whether that be on the phone line with the, uh, the normal customer service team, still the same customer service team, uh, still the same way of getting in touch with us. The only difference at, at the moment, as I say, it's the first time that we've actually ever gone live out of this television studio. I know that um, the, the studio has been here for a while. We've built it especially for, for Sewing Street though. Uh, but we're just still potentially going through our technical teething bits. So today we won't be live on Facebook, but you can still watch us, remember, on Sky, on Freeview, and you can still use the offer on the web, of course, on YouTube as well, on our shopping page. Uh, so absolutely make the most of that deal. I'll keep reminding you through the day, but we want to have, uh, of course, we want your input. We want to hear from you today. If you do want to get in touch with us, then it's the usual way on Facebook, Sewing Street TV, or email Hannah, who's in the gallery. By the way, I'll give you a grand tour in a minute. Um, ha Hannah, Elliot, and, uh, and Kat are all in the gallery, which I can see them. I can actually see them. Is Matthew here still? Matt's still here. Matt's been here, as I say. They've all been here all through the night working, th uh, making sure that everything was ready for us. So he's just staying to make sure we're on air nice and smoothly. Do remember that offer all day today. So even things on the website, it's a great chance to check out on things like your waddings, check out on things like any kits or any of the large items, even sewing machines, those of you that are spending £40 or more. And it can be over a few products, you've just got to make sure that you've got at least £40 in your basket and you'll get a £10 off. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Loads of people messaging in about the brand new studio. Honestly, Jill, I feel really excited, really nervous actually. It's like my first day at school. Oh, Jill saying hello, she loves and good luck with the new studio. Loving the shelves, oh wait till I show you around. There is, it, it feels huge, it feels absolutely huge, doesn't it? Oh look, was, has Elliot been showing you already? I think we've been having a bit of a, a scoot round. You're getting a bit of a, a, a sneak peek of everything. So there we go, we can of course put all of our quilts up here, we're going to be able to do great dressmaking with all of our mannequins, which is really, really exciting. We've got Wendy Orlando here today as well, and you know what she's like anyway, she is literally like a fizzy bottle of pop who is a honestly so excited um, so she's going to be our first guest here live in the studio which is brilliant so come on over with me come on over so 
As I said, we've got some lovely shelving areas, we've got all of our rulers, we've got plenty of places to put all of our cushions and display all of our quilts and when we're doing lots of makes and of course this desk is absolutely huge. Those of you that have been watching on that over the last seven months, we've literally been on quite a small a small desk in smaller space so it's great for our, of course all of our guest designers to have loads of room to sew. Loads of room underneath as well, we've got all the shelves underneath which is lovely. Hello Pam, Pam's messaged in saying she's loving the new studio. It's so surreal, finally being in our new home. I love it, love it, love it. Right, shall we start as we always do with our early bird special? Because we've still got a show to do. I'd love to just sit and have a chat about our new home and uh, welcome in everybody. But we've got the most incredible deals for you today, starting with today's early bird. Now, of course, for our launch day, we had to do something special, something that we all love and we all use. Whether you're a bag maker, a dressmaker, a quilter, no matter what craft you do, I know how important marking tools are. So we've got for you not just one or two, or three in fact, we've got four of your friction pens, which are brilliant marking tools. Depending on, we all have personal preference, I understand, but if you want to make sure that your, your markings disappear really quickly and really easily, to be honest, I find Taylor's chalk, yes, is a very, very uh, traditional way of marking your fabrics, but I find sometimes you can be scrubbing at it and it can be quite messy, especially if you're transporting it. Uh, this is something that we have actually adopted as sewers, isn't it? It was actually first originally made for paper. So you can see it's like a ballpoint pen. It's got a rubber on the end. So if you do want to just do any writing, literally just on paper. Oh, here we go. New home. Remember, add the code new home at checkout to get £10 off if you spend £40. But you can, of course, erase it with... The rubber on the end of the pen. As I said, as crafters, we have adopted these. <laughs> so with your fabric, I would always give it a bit of a test and check that you're happy with how it raises on your fabric. But we asked our guest designers and said, right, what should be our early bird? And first day, new studio, what should we have as our early bird? What do you love? What do you use a lot? And so many people said friction pens. Definitely use friction pens all the time. What's your favourite marking tool? What's your favourite product? Whether you're writing down measurements for things in your notebook, uh, when you're making plans and you're organising yourself, or when you're transferring your seam allowance, when you're doing those extra bits of marking. So, I'm going to do all four lines so you can see on this fabric. This is coming up later on. There's the blue. Oh, sorry, it's not new home. The code is new studio. I keep calling it our new home and it's, it's a new studio. I already feel really at home here. It's called new studio, the code is, just to remind you. Spend £40 or over. Make sure you've got everything in your basket that totals £40 with £10 off. Don't worry, we have plenty of the early bird stock um, as we, we knew. Now, do you know what I've just thought? Let me plug in my iron. I think Wendy's taken my iron. One second, I'll plug this one in. Oh, we've got so much room down here, it's amazing. <laughs> right, I'll just plug in the iron. So, if I get my ironing pad as well, we will use this. So, if you are doing, as I say, your seam allowance, marking out any of your, any of your, your notches or things with dressmaking, I would just, say, as I say, give it a bit of a test to see uh, that you are happy with how it erases on a little bit of scrap. I'd always say that, but here we go. Are you ready for the magic? It happens quite quickly, so obviously I've just got it on the ironing board here. And just with a little bit of heat, all of those markings are raised. Now I must do a little bit of a disclosure and say that in extreme, and I mean very extreme temperatures, cold temperatures, uh, that the, the markings can come back. But that's if you're planning on putting your quilts in the freezer or the hold of a plane, for example. But um, <laughs> if you're taking your, your quilt up to the top of Everest, maybe, extreme cold temperatures, you can chuck it in the wash, no problem, absolutely, and it will be fine. Um, but it's such a quick and easy way. Air erasable pens are brilliant, but sometimes I find if you've got the air con on or if you've got the window open or if you're in different conditions, then I think the air erasable can erase away almost too quickly. We picked with 
our guest designers what we wanted as our launch early bird special. It is less than £15 and you're getting the selection, remember, of all four of them. All four. The green, the black, the red and the blue. It's worth putting into your basket. I understand that you might not want to check out just yet um, as you want to, might want to wait and see what else we can secure uh, to make the most of the saving. Remember, you get a, a £10 saving when you spend £40 today, which is brilliant, isn't it? I don't think we've really done a saving like this. I know when Hannah did a show, she did a, a saving show. Um, you got a great saving, didn't you? Today... New Studio is, the, is, of course, your promo code. Use the code and you will get £10 off when you spend £40. Oh, can I read some more messages out, please? Hi, Pauline. Pauline said hello. Good morning. She said, morning all. Oh, it's so strange, isn't it? She says, I love the new studio. Does it look lovely and fresh on the screen? Oh, thank you. Oh, I must say, the cameraman is loving, and I said, I've got to say as well, there's no cameraman. They're all robotic cameras. <laughs> I'm just revealing all of the telly secrets. The robot is loving the, uh, the how much space there is. So Elliot, um, who you might not have heard of Elliot before. Uh, Elliot, actually, we personally know, Kat, myself and Hannah have known uh, Elliot for years and years and years and years. And he works um, behind the scenes in the technical sort of department. So he's here alongside Kat just teaching and, and making sure that they know exactly um, everything that's going on with the new robotic cameras. It's very exciting. Do you know what? I am really honoured. Who was that, sorry? Hi, Pauline. She says, Vicky must be honoured to be the, the first presenter in the new studio. I really, really am. I, I must say, I was very nervous this morning. I was thinking, oh, my word. When you've never been... I, I've had a couple of look... I've had a, a couple of um, times that I've been over here, but it's been virtually like a shell. I mean, those of you that will have seen yesterday Neil posting a picture, the wallpaper was still going up. There were technicians here, there and everywhere coming in and going. So I must have said, I, when I came off air yesterday, I did say, right, I'm not going to jinx it. And I'm going to say, fingers crossed that we're going to be here tomorrow. But even we were a bit like, is, is it going to happen? It went a, a bit crazy this morning with the last five minutes to go dressing the set. So it's so exciting that we're here. Thank you. And it is an honour, really, it is an honour to be here. Right, so, oh, so many lovely messages coming through. Thank you so much. It's down to you that we're here as well, so thank you for all of your lovely messages. Now, talking of big savings, today, especially as we've got the offer running, this is going to be an amazing one to make the most of. So, it isn't just the Fiskars rotary cutter and, uh, and ruler combo. It's actually a massive saving in itself Anyway, before you add in the code, normally we sell this on its own and I'm not sure, how much is this normally, Hannah? So it is going to be, it's the same price as, as, as we're going to offer, but today you're saving an extra £31.49 because you're getting the blade change tool. So you can use this obviously with all your rotary cutters from Fiskars, but you can also use it with a lot of the other rotary cutters, a lot of the other 45 millimeter blade rotary cutters. The, the, they might not have the, uh, the uh, OSE, so they might not have the, as long as they've got that magnetic part, all the Fiskars ones do, the 45 millimeter blade Fiskars ones do. This is brilliant value for money anyway at 31 pounds and 49 pence because you get, I believe five, Fiskars 45 millimeter blades as well, which is absolutely incredible. So you're making that saving already. You're saving 31.49, which is brilliant. But remember, today, use the code because when you're spending 40 pounds or more, you're getting another 10 pounds off. How good is that? What a great way to start saving. Come and celebrate our new studio. Remember, uh, use the code NEWSTUDIO. Uh, use it with the customer service team or on the web. We tried to get as many as we possibly could in to make sure everybody was saving. We're all ever so excited. Oh, Barbara, thank you so much for all your messages. It means so much to us. And we'll make sure that we pass on all these messages as well to the team behind the scenes. There's loads of people saying they love the new studio. Loads of people checking out on this. In fact, there were lots of people eagle eyes on the website who spotted this before we went live. Maybe you got the email earlier on saying about the code. Um, a lot of people went straight to the web checking out. So it's brilliant. Let me show you how it works. I've already got it. Look, 
behind me. So you're making a saving, really, of over £40 because you're getting the blade changer for free. Um, the RRP of that blade changing tool alone is £31.49. Plus, you're getting the £10 off when you're using the code. So brilliant. Win, win, win. Um, now, what I love about this is for anybody who um, is a bit unsure about using a rotary cutter, potentially, if you are unsure about using a rotary cutter, then this is brilliant because it's all enclosed so let me start by showing you the, the rotary blade itself it's a normal 45 millimeter rotary blade and it's all completely enclosed into here so it's only going to be activated once you apply pressure and it's got this really lovely soft grip on the top it works a bit like a guillotine basically but it's got a really accurate ruler next to it obviously you're looking at fist scars it's a normal 45 millimeter blade so obviously you can use it with your blade changing tool that you've you've got for free you don't want to touch it even when it's blunt and I say very loosely blunt, they're still extremely, extremely sharp. So, um, you can use this if you're a right-hander or a left-hander. Those of you that know me, I weirdly have learnt to cut with my right hand. So, um, uh, which, hang on, let me just get myself a bit better orientated. So, just so you know, we are very, very limited on this already. I'm trying to work out the best way to show you this. So, if you line this up, and if I want to cut, say, a four, four inch strip, I'm going to have to shimmy this slightly down so it goes on the, uh, the cutting mat. If I line that up, there's so many uh, markings on here to make it really, really nice and accurate and really, really clear. And then you've also got your 30 de degree angle, your 45 degree angle and your 60 degree angle. It starts here out of the way so you know that you're not going to get your fingers in the way if you're worried about the safety of to cutting then this is brilliant and then simply apply pressure hold it down pull your fabric away to check that it's done the cut and there you go you've got a perfect four inch strip so i mean it is as simple as that it's going to make your cutting really uh, precise, really accurate and really safe. I, I know a lot of people who love to work with, with rotary cutters but may be a bit uh, concerned about, or if you struggle to grip as well, if you, struggle, if you are concerned about the safety of them all struggling to grip then they are brilliant. If you think about how much it costs for a really top quality rotary cutter and you think about how, how much it costs for a top quality uh, ruler as well, I think it's a brilliant value for money. Plus today, even better, win, 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 especially as you're getting your blade changing tool worth £31.49. So, £64.99, but remember, use that discount code and you can save £10 today. New Studio is your code. Sorry, I'm going to sound like a bit of a broken record today. I'm going to keep telling you how to use that code because I'd hate for anybody to miss that massive saving. Right, that's about to sell out. This is what it's like. It's going to be busy, busy, busy today. Right. Let's have a look at another great saving. So when we found out that we could do this, I mean, I must say, this was a little bit last minute. Um, Hannah and I were talking to Hayley B and she was talking about how she was going to do this discount for everybody. And we said, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a game changer. We need to put in the stripology. We need to talk about all of these different things. Now, I know yesterday we did do quite an extensive sort of look and demo with Alison Marion. So I'm not going to be spending too much time on this, but I just want to mention there is literally a handful of these left. This is your stripology extra large ruler, which is, remember, two of the most popular stripology rulers mixed together. They've mixed together the squared stripology and your original stripology to create the XL, which reduces your cutting time by 75%. How amazing is that? So it's, tall, it's a taller multi-purpose tool for cutting strips, squares, triangles, diamonds, di uh, d uh, of course, um, hexagons as well. You can square up your blocks. You can see these white squares going around up to 12 and a half inches. You've got your solid inches here if you want to square up any of your, your full inch blocks. For £61.99, I understand, again, is an investment. If you are at that point in your quilting journey or, or your sewing journey where you're doing lots and lots of cutting, 
This saves so much time, so, so much time. I must say, when I first saw these, I was a bit bamboozled by all the markings and all of the numbers. And I thought, gosh, I'm really bad at maths. I'm not going to be able to get on with this. And if you've seen me demo this before, you'll realise actually it eliminates all of that math. It's fantastic to, to cut out any of the, the, the sort of the brain power that normally a lot of a uh, lot of cutting requires so it, it's really really clear it's got each groove in between every single one of uh, well at every half inch point so you can slip your rotary cutter inside and cut at every point as I say I know loads of you already love this ruler it is very very popular indeed just thought I'd let you know especially while we've got that discount going today you can save 10 pounds on this today so, shall we introduce his little brother and sister? I don't um, talk about the stripology squared as much, and it's another great ruler. If you do do a lot of squaring up of blocks, then this is fantastic. So, this is, again, from Creative Grid. They're brilliant at what they do. They have great um, demos online as well. They've got really, uh, a really um, active social media and YouTube channel, which they will always update with that QR reader, you will be able to get to all of the demonstrations. So you can cut obviously four inch blocks up to 12 and a half inch blocks. 44 pounds and 99 pence. Now this is gonna be another great one that you're eligible to use your code. If you're buying smaller items, it's fine too. As long as you add up, to 40 pounds in your basket, then you'll save 10 pounds using the code new studio, using the code new studio. I'll show you some little bits and pieces later. So maybe if you've got your friction pens and you're thinking, right, I wanna add some other bits in, then I will make sure I let you know of some of the other great picks. But this one, when you are spending 44.99, Absolutely make the most of it. They're your friction pens, by the way. £14.96 if you do want those to your order. And there's your creative grid. Square. Okay. Right, so that's your squared ruler. Same principle again. You can still cut your strips. You can still cut your squares, your triangles. Um, you've got all of your squaring up blocks on there nice and easy also. Easily, uh, easy to see. Okay. Those of you that managed to get the Fiskars combo, well done, because that's completely sold out. That was a big saving, wasn't it? Really big saving. So, another big saving today on the light boxes. Let's go for the big one first. I'm going to plug it in. It comes with the mains plug-in. So, this is the larger one. Is that right? Okay. I'm so bad with knowing like A3... Um, Hannah talks in paper. I think that this is A3. So a little bright blue light will come on onto the side and it's got a touch button on the side here to turn it on. So are you ready? In fact, I wonder, Elliot, I don't know whether we can dim the... No, I'm... <laughs> oh no, we were, um, yeah, walking before we can run. We will be able to, just so you know, but at one point. So that's the first light. That's the second light, and that's the third light. I'm not sure how well you can see that on screen, but there are three different lights that are changing. So there's off, one, two, three. Three different, three different brightnesses. So what I love about the, the light box is that it's an LED light, which does not give off any heat whatsoever. Those of you that are transferring templates, if you're doing any EPP and you're drawing out all of your hexes, or if you're doing any applique, if you're doing bag templates, this is a great one because it's bigger, if you're doing any embroidery templates, the amount of times that I personally have tried to put my templates up to the window to mark through and it's a grey day and you can't really see very clearly, then this is really, really clear to do so. Uh, I'm also thinking, well, I've said this before and it, can, it's, it kind of sounded like I live in a prison cell, but you know when you have the bars across the window? <laughs> Literally like a square bar across the window. I do not mean like a prison cell bars. What are they called? Window? Do you know what I mean? Right, I'm just going to explain my window. There is a window and there is a 
square that runs through it, there is a cross that runs through it, so you get four squares. The little windows, they're not bars through a window. You know what I mean, they're going, I uh, don't know what you're on about. A, win a normal house window. So then anyway, when I tried to put my template on it, it goes over the ridges on the window. So these are absolutely ideal, especially as we're going through into the autumn and winter, the nights are drawing in, you want to transfer and do your, your embroidery of an evening, then this is absolutely perfect. Today, you can use the £10 discount code with this item, New Studio. Remember, New Studio is your code that you'll need to jot in at checkout or speak to the customer service team. They're the same customer service team. They're even closer to us than they were last time. We've moved, I want to say, about half a mile down the road from where we were. And we have got three very, very naughty sort of takeaway food um, sort of outlets very, very close to us, very close to us. I've already been for breakfast this morning. Oh my word, it's going to be dangerous, isn't it? Especially uh, over Christmas. Oh, right, so £64.99. That's the larger the, the um, light box is. Oh, hello, Pam. Pam's messaged in saying congratulations. Hello, Anne. Bev said hello, congratulations. Stuart. Oh, Stuart's really enjoying the show this morning. So strange, isn't it? I'm still getting used to the cameras, if I'm honest, because there's so many different cameras, and I'm, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. All of these robotic cameras, it's, it's trying to learn which ones to, to look at. So, this is Ray 4 light, light box. Again, it's got that LED beautiful light, and it's a daylight. It's not like a fluorescent light that sometimes flickers and takes a while to turn on. It's not going to be one of those lights that gets too hot, so you can get nice and close to it. £32.99. So, now I know that we haven't quite got to £40 with this. So if you're thinking of maybe getting something to transfer your templates with, what about the friction pens? That's going to be ideal, ideal to transfer across. So you could get the early bird and you can get the light box today and then you'll be eligible to save £10. £32.99. Hannah's running round, it's busy, busy, busy. Do you want to see her? Come on, hello, good morning. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Sorry, that was naughty, Elliot. That wasn't me. <laughs> But she's very happy to be here, she's very excited. Okay, so that's your A4 light box. It's £32.99, plugs in in the mains. You've got the touch button on the side. It's even got measurements centimetres in centimetres across. I have still got that piece of paper from the friction pens, I think. I must do. Right, let me see where I've put it. There's my light box. So, here's my piece of paper. If you want to transfer any of your templates, say from Alistair's um, EPP book, quite often you'll get templates in the back of books and it's, it's really difficult sometimes to transfer them across. As I say, you might have to, um, I don't want to go through the whole of the book. Right, so if you put this like that, obviously you do it onto whatever card or however you want to transfer them over. It's probably made it a bit more difficult because I've got lines on this paper and I would use a nice ruler at home. But it just shows you how much easier that makes it. If you're using your embroidery designs and you do just want to, to transfer them accurately, not like me today. Really good tool to use. Can you see that at home, how clear that was for me to see the, uh, the, the templates? There's my template and how much clearer that is using, oh, you can't see as clearly at home, but it makes it so much clearer for me um, in, 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 um, in real life. Real life, not telly life. £32.99. We're getting used to all these lovely camera angles, aren't we? Oh, you're going to love it. When we get sewing with Wendy Orlando as well, it's going to be so much better because you'll be able to see everything so clearly. Oh, it's exciting. Um, we are obviously doing slightly different times to what we're used to doing, so now you'll see our guest designers in at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and they'll be our, mest, uh, our main guest demo hours, which means we will have 
more time with them um, because quite often obviously we start with the early bird we've got things to talk about in the morning and then we're a bit rushed with them at eight o'clock so we thought it's probably better let them settle in with a cup of tea get them all ready so that then um, they've got the whole hour plenty of time to do all the demoing at nine o'clock so we'll see wendy in an hour hi rosemary morning vicky and the team good morning finally i know I know, seven months in the making. I think when we first started in our temporary studio back on February the 14th, we said, right, this is going to be our home for a few weeks. And then obviously the craziness happened in the world. Seven months later, we were saying goodbye to, uh, to all of our jewellery maker colleagues yesterday. And I think, it was, I think they were like cheering as we left because we're, um, we're a bit... We're a bit too jolly in the morning for them. They said, oh, you can tell that you guys have only been working together for the last seven months because you're all too jolly with each other. But um, I said, actually, I have to have you know, we've known each other for years and years now. Um, oh, we can't show Elliot, can we? Do you want to come and say hello at some point? Yeah. He is going to come and say hello in a moment. He is going to come and say hello. Do you want to have a look at Alistair's book, by the way? Because we're talking about EPP later. So... Um, and then we'll talk about some EPP, actually, which is, of course, one of our favourites, the glue pen. Maybe you're just tuning in for the first time, or if you are spending for the first time today, maybe you're watching over the last few weeks, a few months, and you're, you've never bought from us before. I understand it, it, it takes a bit of courage to make the plunge, the first plunge. Those of you that have shopped with us before, do you remember your first purchase? It, it is sort of, it, it does take a bit of courage, as I say, doesn't it? But... Use the offer today, potentially. Speak to our lovely customer service team. As I say, they're down the road from us, even closer now down the road. And they're really lovely. They'll be able to help you. Let them know that you want to use the discount code NEWSTUDIO and you will make, uh, and we'll absolutely make sure that you get £10 off your order. That's when you save £40. You can only use that code once, by the way, um, today. It lasts until midnight tonight, though. But if you've got lots of bits and pieces that you need to add in and add up, Great time to do that today. Right, so if you're a sewer who's always done quilting, maybe you've always done a bit of speed sewing through your machine and you just want a bit of slow sewing. Over the last few months, I've certainly learnt that I need to slow down a bit. A bit of hand sewing and slow sewing, mindfulness and thinking about just calming our brains. We live in a, you know, a busy, busy, busy lifestyle, don't we? So having um, a, a lovely hobby like English paper piecing. Alistair was actually a dressmaker, the author of this book, he was a dressmaker, and he said he wanted to do something as a hobby that wasn't necessarily sewing on a machine. Um, he tried baking and he says he wasn't very good at it. So then he discovered English paper piecing and it ended up becoming a profession because he's written books on it as well. So um, it, it, it is a great transportable hobby. And what I love about this book is Alistair will take you through, very affordably as well, for $7.99 you can learn the tricks of the trade. So you've got all of the materials and the different um, uh, tools and, uh, and fabrics that you're going to need. The different bits and bobs, different tools that you might need, like a cutting mat, a rotary cutter, scissors, thread, pincushion, sewing needles, maybe a thimble, uh, pins, anything that you might need to get going. Then it will talk through your basic techniques. So Alice is using a tailor's chalk here, but as I say, you can use your friction pens to, to make your templates. There's templates in the back of the book, easy to transfer onto your fabric when you're using a light box. He does one with keeping felt in here as well. Different EPP technique where you keep the felt in here. You can see this one is one where you get the, uh, the papers out, but there's different techniques in here. So he's thread basting on this one, but of course you can also glue based, which we'll talk about in a second. And they're all lovely little projects that you'll use. So EPP can be a project that is ongoing and ongoing and ongoing. Like Hannah's and Cap's, they just keep adding hexes to each other. Hannah said hers has been going a good four years and just keeps adding to it. <laughs> she says, I do it when I'm sad, which is quite good, actually, because I haven't been sad for a while. I haven't done it. <laughs> she says, when I'm quite stressed, I use hand sewing as a nice therapeutic hobby to keep my mind off things. You're focusing solely on those stitches. Um, so I, I, I love that. But also, it could be used for quite quick projects and smaller projects and useful projects. Like you can make yourself an EPP hobby bag. You can make yourself uh, little gift bags or you could do a, yourself a pin cushion. Useful projects as well in here and achievable smaller projects to start with. Makeup bags. You've got man's scarf. 
You've got table runners for Christmas, peg bags. If you were spending £40 and you're getting that, maybe you're getting the extra large tripology. If you put the book in your basket today and you're getting your £10 off, you're basically getting this for free. <laughs> it's £7.99. This could be a little freebie and you can learn a new hobby and learn a new skill. Book covers, tote bags, all sorts. It's a very, very popular book. It's super duper affordable. There's loads and loads of things to learn with there. And all of those projects for just $7.99, it's a bargain. Something that I could not be without is my Soline glue pen. So many EPPers absolutely adore it. Whether you be a, a bag maker, inserting zips, this is a must. If you just want to hold something in place, we were talking about this yesterday with Alison Marion, and she said, yes, you can get bond bondaweb in your, in your kit, but instead of using the bondaweb, why not just holding the, the it, we were making a little doggy bag, and we were saying, what about just keeping the doggies on with a glue pen and then a, stitching around it? For a plique, this is brilliant. £6.99. Now, um, Hannah has tried using various crafting glues that she had in her cupboard. She says, I'm not going to lie. First saw this and thought, do you know, maybe that's just a little bit of a gadget. Um, maybe it is a bit of a gadget. But it's not a prick stick. It is a, um, or any other brand, <laughs> any other craft glue like that. It's a specially developed sewing glue. It's a low tack glue. You can tell when you try the other glue. So it's not going to bung up your needle, gum up your needle. Uh, it's not going to damage any of your fabric. It dries completely clear. If you're stitching through it, then it won't gum up your needle. If you're thinking of using it, as I say, for, for bag making or anything like that, it will completely wash out. It's a temporary glue. You want to be able to keep your papers in place and keep your fabric folded over your papers, but you also want to be able to take your papers out. So it's strong enough to hold it in place, but then it's easy to sort of manipulate and take out. £6.99. You do get um, a, a glue stick in here, and then you also get a refill stick in there as well. It is a blue refill, but don't worry, as I say, it drives completely clear. If you're a thread baster normally, try one. Try one. Have a go. For £6.99, again, this could be a freebie. If you bought the, the uh, if you had the stripology in your basket or if you had the light box in your basket and you know that you were totaling over £40 anyway, this can be like your little freebie. If you're doing, uh, you know, curved EPP, like apple core shapes, it can be quite tricky to thread based. Um, Hannah says, in fact, I've never seen anybody thread base the apple core sizes. It's quite difficult to do. This will be so much easier. Uh, the tutorials that we've seen online, everyone using glue pens, we've converted over the years so many people who have been like thread based to through and through. It's cheating using a glue pen. It isn't. Have a go, have a go. Save you lots of time, absolutely. Right. Uh, oh, so, so let's stick with EPP. Let's stick with EPP. Maybe you want to do a bit of an experiment with different shapes. Maybe you've tried your hexes or you want to make your own. We've got some really, really special EPP card. Now I've got two here. Is it the same? One that's open and one that's closed. Thank you. So it's £2.99 and you get 20 sheets in there. It's a real ideal way of making your own EPP templates and very cost effective. If you've got the time to do it, absolutely, why not? It's slightly thicker than your normal, um, your normal photocopy paper, but it's not as thick as a card. So this is ideal to be able to, to reuse your templates again. It's not going to be just one that you're using. Oh, I think we've changed graphics again. There we go. Oh, 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 there we go. £2.99. Um, it doesn't matter that it's it doesn't matter that it's in uh, in white. You're not going to see them, uh, so you can get any colour in these cards. But it is about the, the thickness and the quality of it. You can reuse these if you're if you're careful with them, as it is thick enough to be able to to hold your shape, but then thin enough to be able to take out easy. Um, use it in conjunction with Alistair's book. Absolutely, for seven ninety nine and your paper. That's fantastic value, isn't it? Fantastic value. Obviously, it's only two ninety nine. So just thought I'd let you know it's back in stock. Shall we have another look around the studio? Because those of you that are just tuning in with us, good morning, welcome on in. If you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Vicky Carroll, and we have got so much going on today. We're in our brand new home. <laughs> 
Thank you. Do you know what? I feel like a borrower. I feel tiny um, because the, the studio is huge. I've been so used to being in our little cupboard. And look, da, 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 da. I never get to do this. We've all been dancing around. Uh, so we've got two desks. We've got loads of space here. We're going to be able to put all of our quilts up. When we've got quilting going on, we're going to be able to hang all of our bags. Can you imagine all Debbie Shaw's bags? All of the cushions. Oh, I must say, Debbie Shaw is going to love decorating this set. Oh, she really is going to have fun here. Um, Bex is here tomorrow as well. Bex Reed is back with you tomorrow. Those of you that met Rebecca Reed, she's our brand new presenter. She started last weekend and, oh my word, she's brilliant. She is going to be so excited. She is going to be so excited. Um, who's on tomorrow? Delphine's going to be here tomorrow. Gary from Duke is going to be here tomorrow. You've got a great week lined up for launch week. Really, really have. So, as I say, when we were talking with the team and the marketing team about doing this brilliant, brilliant offer, instantly we put ourselves in your shoes and thought right with a 10 pound saving what is it that you're going to want to make the most of what's really useful of course wadding and when you are using that code new studio you're getting 10 pounds off new studio 10 pounds off so this one let's start with this one which is your king size cotton it says yep um, um, this one, no, this one. Let's start with this one, which is your queen size. Queen size wool batting, uh, which is absolutely beautiful quality. And the price point is fantastic. It's personal preference. It is personal preference on what waddings you use. Wool is very traditional. Maybe you've been waiting for that project to use wool or you're waiting for that time to purchase your wool batting. I think it's the first time that I've seen it on the show. It says on the back here, why wool? It provides superb insulation. So if you are thinking for those winter quilts, uh, obviously we're going, into the, we're going into those winter months, having, of course, your wool batting is going to provide superb insulation. The fibre breathes, allowing excess heat to dispense away from the body. Wool gives you warmth without weight. It's naturally um, hydroscopic. Is that a right word? What does that mean? Hydroscopic. It does mean hydroscopic. It means what? Sorry, cat. Uh, oh, she's asking Siri. And can absorb, absorb up to 30% of its own weight in moisture without feeling damp. £53.99. It's great for a lot of people with allergies as well. And obviously, I can't tell you that it's going to you know work for you but it is thought to be great if you um are, you know are sensitive with different allergies um also i was going to say uh, that you i'm trying to see where it says how much you need to quilt between it generally if you have a look through oh there you go so you it can be quilt, quilted 3 inches apart so you can do some really beautiful dense quilting with it it will look amazing this is your queen size 53 pounds and 99 pence for your queen what queen size wadding it's not just things that we're showing you that you can use the offer on. Be aware that it's available across the whole of the website. Over the next four hours, or three and uh, three hours and a quarter, we're not going to be able to show you everything on the web. Uh, we would if we could. We'd show you everything we possibly could. We tried to think about things that you might want to, you know, make that saving on. But have a look on the web. See what's available. Remember, you get a £10 saving when you're spending £40 or more in one single transaction. It doesn't need to be on one purchase, but you do need to make sure your basket total is £40 or more and you will save £10. Thanks for that, Hayley. Um, I think it's the king size. So we've now got the premium cotton wadding. This is your 80-20. So it's cotton 80% and polyester 20%. I know that this is potentially one of the most popular waddings that we stock. The 80-20 mix of your cotton is, is beautiful, beautiful quality again. Uh, this one you can stitch as far as three and a half inches part. Close quilting can give you a more sort of flat finish. If you do do slightly further away quilting, then it will give you more of a, um, a sort of poofy look. It depends on what you like. It depends on your, your, your um, sort of 
final finish. Always do get it larger than your quilt top though. You'll need a couple of inches around the perimeter to quilt with. Uh, if you are, what was that Hannah? If you're sending it away to be long arm quilted or to be quilted, they do ask, please do ask your long arm quilter how much larger they want it. Generally it's a few inches, it will shrink down but they have their own reservations and their own um, specifications. So do ask them how much to leave around it. Don't also think as well that you have to use it in one last large piece. You can, of course, put them together. You then can still put them together, so don't worry. If you add to your stash now, maybe get your glue pen as well, then you get your £10 off, absolutely. If you put it in your stash, then you've got it to go through, haven't you? You've always got fabric in your stash. Now it's good to have wadding in your stash, isn't it? For smaller projects, it's ideal as well. Just £37.99. pence. Remember, if you're adding any more to your basket, if it totals over £40, use the code NEWSTUDIO and you'll receive £10 off today. There are the waddings that are on the desk here. Have a look on the website. We've got loads. We've got polyester waddings. We've got more 80-20s. We've got the so simple ones. We've got all sorts. So I'm not going to go over them all now. As I said, it is personal preference. But just wanted to remind you about waddings because they are all on the website. Oh, if you've not tried Aurifil before, please, please, please do. Now is the great time to be able to try out Tula Pink Sunrise Aurifil collection. The colours are incredible. So 20 colours, all premium, Italian, beautiful cotton thread. Picked by Tula, the artwork's all by Tula. Look at it, they're beautifully presented. And inside... Thank you. Look at all of these colours. <gasps> Aren't they gorgeous? So you've got all of your pinks, you've got your blues, you've got your yellows and oranges and greens, you've got your reds. Those of you that have ever seen her studio, there's actually a lovely series on YouTube. Um, I know that some they sort of follow her looking around her studio. And she has got all of the Aurifil in those beautiful display cases, it's definitely worth having a look at. So to be able to sort of invest in something that you know that Tula Pink is a huge advocate of, I know so many quilters that solely only use Aurifil, it's up to you, as I say, polyester thread is great as well, but if you do want to use just solely 100% cotton, and then this is where, oh my word, Aurifil is the, I would say, one of, if not the biggest name in the brand. So they're 50 weight, which is, I would say you're probably universal sewing weight thread. You can use it in the Tobby sewing machine. You can use it in the bobbin. You can use it for piecing, for applique. You can use it for hand sewing as well. You've got such beautiful colors though that are gonna go with, of course, all of your Tula pink fabrics, all of those lovely autumnal fabrics as well. Across the board, it doesn't need to just be your really bright Tulas. You've even got black in here. Uh, 200 meters on each spool which is brilliant value for money actually i always thought of orophil as later on in that quilting journey where you know you're really investing in the threads that you're buying whereas actually if you break it down because most of the polyester threads you get 100 meters on each spool these you've got 200 meters and we are so so low in price your price per meter bear in mind you're getting 20 spools not doing the uh, not doing the maths. Four thousand meters. Oh, she's doing the maths. Hannah's doing the maths. It's a big day. Hannah's doing the maths. I can see her, by the way. So I I, I don't think we've got a camera that that can robotly show you the gallery. Okay, don't understand the maths. Work it out. You've got because Hannah can't work it out. Twenty spools. All today at £66.99. Remember, oh, I see. Absolutely, use the code. Check out your basket and use the code. That's brilliant, isn't it? That is brilliant value for money, actually. £66.99. So there's the tulip pink orophil. I think I've got another tulip pink orophil here. We've also got 
our collaboration with Orofil. How amazing is this that we actually have a collaboration with Orofil? When you're talking about the big players in the sewing world, you think of people like Fiskars and you think of people like Hemline and, and you know, you, you think of all of these different people. These are your quilters collection exclusively for us, exclusively for us. So you get 10 colours, all 100% beautiful premium cotton 50 weight again so just like i was saying with the last one this is the most recent collaboration all of the colors are on the back and they're all numbered by the way as well so if you do want to reorder them if you do want to go back to orofil they're obviously not designed by us so you can go back to orofil it's just our collection of colors that we've put together but they are all numbered so that you're going to be able to um of course choose which ones you want to bring back. Let's open it up and have a look. So inside, you're getting 10 of these beautiful autumn colours. Did you watch yesterday's show? After yesterday, I did feel really, really autumnal. Um, to be able to get all of these beautiful colours, like your grey as well, that's going to be a really good one for your English paper PC. That's going to be a lovely one. You've then also got your creams, you've got your golds. I love the fact that Sewing Street's got our name on it. We have worked alongside one of the biggest names in the, uh, in, in the thread world. Woo! Sorry, that was the robots going very quick then. <laughs> robots do, you know, they do go quick. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, Elliot's saying no, it was him. It was him. 33 pounds and 99 pence. 50 weight, 100, 200 metres on each spool. All 10 beautiful neutral colours, great for autumn. So that's your great quilters collection. And then we've also got, I believe, another. <gasps> Look, it's all up to here on our lovely new set. Elliot, I must say you've done a grand job putting these shelves up. And you've done a really better job filling in the holes from where you got it wrong. You can't see, can you? <laughs> Right, so these are your essential collections. Once again, these are our Orofil collection. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Ten colours and are absolute beautiful colours. You've got the beautiful bright pink, blues. Still got your neutral, so you've still got your cream and your black. You've still got your grey, which I think is a really lovely neutral colour to mix in between your fabrics. Plus also, if you're doing English paper piecing, this is going to be ideal. Then you've also got blues and purples. It was the first collection that we teamed up with Orofil. Can you believe it? With that, bearing in mind, we've only been... We've only actually been here since February. We've only been launched since February. We're in our brand new flashy all singing and dancing studio. Um, we've got our collections with Orofil. My word. Those of you that have never bought from us before or, or, or met us before, oh my word, honestly, we are spoiling you rotten today. £33.99 and remember, if you add a couple more items in your basket and tot it over £40, you'll save £10 using the code NEW STUDIO. Lots of people have been using the offer. Oh, it's so lovely to have your company today. Today more than ever. I know I said to you yesterday, tune in, set your alarm at 8 o'clock. I always recommend you tune in at 8 o'clock to see, of course, the early bird special, but... Oh my word, today is a really, real special day. I know a lot of people are going to be, uh, to, going to be watching. I had so many messages this morning saying that lots of people are going to be watching. It's very exciting. Hi, Martin. Morning, Martin. Great show. Loving the new studio. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Really exciting. Kate. Hello, Kate. New studio looks amazing. Absolutely love it. That's from Kate. Thank you very, very much, Kate. Um, Come and have a look at the studio if you've not seen it. Loads of space, loads of space. Come on over, Elliot. Da, 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 da. Um, oh, he's there. It's so big, sorry, it takes me a minute to get over here. Um, I need like Heelys, you know, those roller skates. I need some roller skates to wheel on and off because look, it goes on and 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 on. Which is brilliant, isn't it? Um, so. I just want to mention as well, those of you that are shopping with us for the first time, if you've never bought from us before, it's really easy to do so. Oh gosh, I've just realised I literally sound exactly like the advert and I'm wearing the same top as well. If you've never shopped with us before, it's really easy to do so. Of course, you can speak to the customer service team or you could shop online. That's weird, isn't it? 
I've watched that advert too many times. It's literally word for word on the advert. But of course, new studio. I'm going to need to do a new advert and change my top. Absolutely. Um, who was it? I think Hayley just came in and I, I was going to do a, a photo. And she says, right, I swear you're wearing the same top as the last time I did this photo. I'm like, right, I need to throw this top away. Don't I? I've worn this too many times now. Um, I was also going to say that you're only going to pay one postage and packaging all day long, which is £3.95. Right, so even if you're getting this mat, for example, this is your Millwood Extra Large Cutting Mat. They always say, and it was uh, words of wisdom, and I, I really, really wish I actually took this advice when I first started sewing, buy the biggest mat that your space will allow. And I ended up, buying still um, a, a, hang on one second, let me move these out of the way. Um, I ended up buying a, 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 a format and it just, I outgrew it very, very quickly. So what I love about this is that if you have got a designated sewing space, brilliant. It's going to be fantastic to do all of your cutting. Uh, Whatever size you're sort of working with, it's probably going to be work for you, whether it be bag making or, or, or dressmaking. Even I know a lot of dressmakers use cutting mats and rotary cutters. They, you do definitely need a cutting mat if you are rotary cutting and get a good quality one, especially if you can get one that's self-healing, absolutely do so. This one is self-healing. So if you just give it a wipe with a, a baby wipe or, or a damp sponge, then it will just re-engage those self-healing properties. It's double-sided, so if you work in metric or imperial, you are covered. It, ha it has the size on the graphics, doesn't it? 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Um, it is in inches as well. If you don't have a designated sewing space, don't rule this out. I think that's where I was thinking, oh, do you know what? I'm not, I don't really have the space for it. You can store it under the sofa, store it under the bed, just keep it flat. And what I love about the fact that I said about our posting and packaging is that even if you've already checked out and used the code, you can still come back and purchase more if you'd like. Obviously, you won't be able to use the code, but you'll only pay one posting and packaging. So you've paid your P and P already. And even better is that it will be it will be sent to you nice and safely. Obviously, it's a big item. It's going to be sent to you flat, and of course, it needs to be stored flat. So that's all covered in one post and packaging, which is brilliant. Just thirty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Use the code. Uh, remember, new studio. Have a look. If I were you, over the next few minutes, we're going to get Wendy on in a minute. Oh my word. I wish, honestly, you could have seen Wendy's face this morning. She could not contain her excitement. And I'm sure she won't be able to contain her excitement when she gets here as well. So we'll see Wendy in, in a few minutes. But over the next, uh, while we're just on a break getting Wendy on, have a look through the web. See what you've got your eye on. Is there anything that you've been thinking, oh, I've been waiting to get that. I've been waiting till payday to be able to get it. You get £10 off today. Just so you know, the king size wadding is near selling out, just so you're aware. The cotton wadding, the 80-20, is near selling out. There is queen size in there as well, um, if you are you know, unsure on what size is. But have a look, I just thought I'd let you know we're limited on quite a lot of the larger items, the stripology as well, the extra large stripology as well. Might have even sold out. I'll let you know, I'll let you know. Oh, it's not sold out, brilliant. You can still get that at the moment. So, do not go anywhere. Wendy is gonna be back with me. Oh gosh, it's gonna be amazing. We've got a beautiful bag making show coming up right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping.
Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learned lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, welcome back. Right, so we've got a very, very, very excited guest to the right of me. I hardly contain herself. Can't see her yet. We'll um just gonna introduce the most beautiful, beautiful bag, and then we'll we'll have a chat to Wendy. So this is what we're making this hour. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's so, so pretty. It's got the beautiful applique flowers. I really love that plaited strap as well. That's so different, isn't it? I, lo I love the shape of it. I think this is going to be a really, really beautiful project. It comes from one of the most adorable books, which you can see here, which has got quilts, bags, gifts, all sorts in there. You're going to learn lots of great techniques with the book. Um, remember, I'm just reminding anybody who's tuning in with us for the first time this morning, we're in our new home. It's very exciting. And to celebrate, we're offering, of course, an incredible code, discount code, £10 off when you spend £40. The code is new studio. You need to type that into the promo code section on the website. And I must say a huge thank you to all of your messages. Lynn has sent in a beautiful message. She said, good morning team. Loving the new studio. Oh, I tell you what, there is plenty of room to dance around. Um, oh, Elliot, this is a message for you, by the way. 
I've got one of those pegboards from um, a Swedish shop. And you've got lots of uh, extra holes in the wall as well. So it isn't just Elliot. And um, I think he needs a new spirit level. Uh, do you know, I must, I, I must apologise. I've known Elliot for years and years and years. And um, he's been such a trooper with us over the last few weeks. And he's been here through the night setting up. We left yesterday. He was here till, well very late last night and here to let us all in bright and early this morning before anybody else. I said, have you been home yet? He was like, I don't think so. <laughs> so anyway, he lives here now. We've just kind of kept him. Oh, right, so should we have a look at the book first? The book is absolutely beautiful. This is so quilts and gifts. There are 30 beautiful, really pretty projects in here. You've got great bags, you've got quilts, uh, you've got lovely applique projects, you've got great embroidery projects. And I love that it's all extremely clear with lots of diagrams, lots of text as well. So depending on how you work, I know lots of us more creative people sort of work with, uh, with diagrams well. So you've got all your cutting instructions, everything that you need to know. Here's the bag that we're working with today is the dancing flower purse perfect for today isn't it the dancing flower purse as we said the studio is big enough to be dancing around we love it so um Hayley it was so funny we were looking around thinking right at the moment obviously we came off air yesterday with all of our stuff still over there so we were bringing a load of things over and Hayley, um, who's our head of TV, she decided to show me the bag stand. And I thought, oh, she was just telling me this is where you put your bags and your coats. But she was like, oh, no, we're gonna, we can use it on air if we want, if we need to use a bag stand. So thanks to Kat. Kat, um, no, we put our cat handbags on the floor and we dance around them. Absolutely, we've been very excited. Um, you've got hexes in here, we were talking about EPP. You've got a lovely pastel hexy purse. You've got some great quilts, as I say, in here as well, and some really lovely wreaths. That can make, you can make that even Christmassy, couldn't you? Yo-yo grape ornaments, there's so much in here. Grape corsage, huge quilts, dancing dresses quilts with very, very clear instructions and diagrams. We'll talk to Wendy about how she got on with the book uh, in just a moment. So it's just £12.99, pence, which if you work that out, price per project, my word, it is pence, pence per project. Uh, you've got all of your patterns in the back, which we'll have a bit more of a look at with Wendy. So 30 products to choose from. Ah, oh, the bag that we're working on is the one, one of the flagship ones actually, just £12.99. Now we've got two bundles. I've got one to show you here, and then we'll talk through the other. So, we've got, oh, brilliant. So, we've got half a metre. All of these beautiful fabrics, which Wendy's been working with, uh, which is the one that Wendy's going to be working with, I should say. Two metres of fabric, and you're also getting, oh, and you're also getting your panel. Sorry, we're forward and back, forward and back, shimmy around, we will find our way. You've got your lovely panel, which is exclusive to us here at Sewing Street, completely exclusive to us. You get all of these beautiful prints, your gingham prints, your spots, your floral, lovely colours. How gorgeous are they? Plus, you're also getting... Let's have a look. A metre of your spot, a metre of your spot, this one, a metre of your solid cream, which is this one, and then you also get, there you go, sorry, a metre of your cream, a metre of your spot, and a fat quarter of your chartreuse. Sorry, the graphics were a little bit wrong then. Oh, it might be one that you need to search the website for. I will let you know the item code number. Do you know what the item code number is? N W X C eighty three. It's twenty four ninety nine. We'll see if we can find our graphics, but at the moment they're on the website if you want to make the most of it. So um, that's the bundle. We have got had a running into the rescue. Thank you. We've got a metre of cream in the other bundle. Your metre of cream. This is the benefit of having literally now our warehouse is 
doors down literally about two doors down is our warehouse so this morning we were panicking that we didn't have this colorway and the warehouse they're very kind to drop this over so you've got a meter of your cream a meter of your lilac spot and then you also have a fat quarter of your chartreuse plus you also will get your panel that's the one that wendy made the bundle out of the code for this one is k z x C37, that's £24.99. Brilliant price, brilliant, brilliant price. Let's have a look at the panel on its own because we have got it available on its own as well, which is another great value for money. Oh, there you go. There's the lilac bundle. We found it. £24.99. That's the one that, uh, that Wendy's already worked with. Here's your beautiful panel. They're exclusive to us. You've got your gig and print, you've got your floral. Aren't they amazing? Remember the two and a half inch strips. Up to you whether you want to cut them into strips or you cut them on the bias. You could do beautiful bias binding with them. There's loads you're going to be able to do with this. In fact, I'll ask Wendy how much you get left over and what you could do with the leftovers on this because it's such a beautiful design role, isn't it? Just £9.99. Those beautiful British colours, your red, whites and blues. £9.99. It is available, of course, in both bundles, but now available on its own as well. You might want to get it on its own. Different projects. Maybe if you've been looking at it for a while today, of course, you'll get £10 off if you're spending £40. Absolutely worth adding to your order. Both bundles extremely popular indeed already. Remember the green, you'll have to search the code on the website. They're there on the website. Oh, they're there underneath on the website. We just didn't have the graphics. They're both £24.99. They're both underneath us on the website. Fantastic. So let's have a quick look at the bag before we go over to Wendy. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love the shape of it as well. I love that curved shape and the quilting on it is really, really beautiful. Your applique flowers are absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to have a closer look at how we make it. Are we ready to say hello to Wendy? <gasps> She's literally bubbling like a bottle of pop. Honestly, we're so excited. Are you ready, Elliot? We're ready. Hello, hello, Wendy. Good morning. I am bursting. I've had no sleep. How are you feeling? Tired. Well, Wendy came in and said, I have no, I've had no sleep today, but also... I'm worse with no sleep. Sorry. Normally, people mm. with no sleep are quite, you know, let's Not say, me. but actually, no. No, you're, I'm worse. I'm sorry. You're even more hyper. In fact, I got sent out this morning because <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to concentrate and... <laughs> it's so good to have you here. It's what do you think of Annie? Oh home? my goodness. I did say to, to Neil that I could do cartwheels and I probably could do cartwheels all the way around here. Now, by the way, I'm still standing in the same place, but I believe I can't see it. But apparently we're both like on different, we're on the same screen, but split Ooh, together. Double trouble. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is so exciting. It is. <gasps> very, it's an amazing studio. It's beautiful, isn't it? Finally, finally. We're For me personally, home. I sew, so yeah. I could be in a, a little tin shed at the bottom of the garden, yeah. but it is amazing. Oh, brilliant. So, how did you find the bag to start with? Well, I chose this weeks and weeks and weeks ago. I saw it sitting on the desk and I said to Hayley, I want to make that. It's brilliant. The book is full of things to make. Um, but I've made some stuff out of the panels as well, because if you just want to buy the panel, mm -hmm. that is so versatile. It's brilliant. So I've made, I've made a little coaster. Oh, lovely. I mean, this is all just as extra. These isn't are it? extra, yes. Um, I spoke to Hayley last night and she's put so much in this bundle. Yeah. You, you hardly need any of it, so you're going to be making so much. Um, the little lady is a pattern in the book, and mm -hmm. you're just flicking through, and you've got a picture of a, um, I think it's a dress. I, I want to call it a pinafore, but I think it's actually a dress. There's so many in here. Could you just move to the left slightly? That's to it, the perfect. Left. Okay. Thank you. Oh, they're, sorry, I, get, I got caught in the <laughs> moment with these. They are gorgeous, aren't they? They're make, well, they are brooches, but they can make a little pink Oh, cushion. little strawberry they cassage. Are. Oh, nice. And there is a, um, there's a wreath as well that I want to make. I will get there. And grapes, there's just so much to make. 
Right, there they are, the little dancing dresses. So you don't need to do this as a big quilt, no, do you? No, because um, this little lady here was... <laughs> just getting used, yeah, just getting used to it. Things, it? Um, this little lady here is one of the other patterns and at first I thought it was a printed pattern and right. I thought you just buy the, the material but it's not you actually make this it's fantastic um, but yes if you can see here you've just got a pattern of four how about a cushion yeah that would be brilliant and they've made a quilt here I would make a huge one I wouldn't waste um, all the material on putting the the um, pictures everywhere. I just put it how big your bed is, mm -hmm. and then I put plain material around the outside. But there's so much in it. I, I would have made any of these projects, but I, you can make with um, this. This isn't in the book, but it is on the panel. So oh, just double-sided coasters. coasters, and then a little placemat. Oh. And I've used just some of my plain material at the back. And with that one, with this one, I've put binding around the edge. But mm -hmm. with this one, if you don't like binding. Just turn it out, just bag it out, and that's fine. And then in the in the break, because I did have an hour, um, I didn't have this material, so I just quickly whipped up a little oh bag. Oh my word, you've literally done that I just in the last done hour. That. Yes, and I would have top stitched around here, but I didn't have the right colour cotton, and you know what I'm like, so I would do that when I get home with the right colour cotton. Oh, but yeah, fantastic. Just that's with the ivory to... bundle, isn't it? With it is. With the ivory with the green. It is. Mm, that and that, is that material is so soft. I don't know if you, well, you can feel it there. It's so yeah, soft, that material. Yeah, it is. It's so lovely and soft. Uh, so, the bag. <laughs> um, you've got a bit of a pleat. Okay, you've got a bit of quilting in there. Got a bit a of everything the in there. So you've got everything, haven't and you? this is absolutely perfect for someone that is just starting out. I say that, but you know me. I'm aiming myself at, at those that are maybe got the machine sat in the box and think I can't possibly. Yeah, it's so so easy. Oh, nice. Very easy. So shall we start? Absolutely. You want to try and get through as much as you possibly can. Right. The first yes. thing, and I always say <laughs> a good book is how worn, and I've used and used, and you can see it's a bit tatty, but I've used and used and used it. What I would say is probably just trace it out first right. um, rather than ruining Yeah, the you trace them out. Remember, they all come in the book, and the book is separate to your bundles. The book is your main graphic. Yes, so just trace it out. Um, I did, but then I've had a go at so many things that um, it is a little bit squashed. Mm -hmm. So that's all I've done. I've just gone round. Now, the only thing that you have to remember, and it doesn't matter, I can't remember the lady that um, did this book last week with a different project, they don't include the seam allowance. Okay. So you have to add it on. Do you have to? It doesn't really matter because we're only talking about a quarter of an inch, which mm -hmm. will then equate to half an inch over the whole bag. Right. If you want to make it smaller, make it smaller. But I did add the quarter of an inch because I wanted to make it true to the size. Right. So that's all I did. And then I just marked the template with where I need to do the pleats. It's all self-explanatory. It's, it's really good, the book. As I say, mm -hmm. the only thing is if, if you are a, a new sewer, you just need to remember to add that quarter of an inch on. Right. So the next thing, I've done a few steps just to show you, is you cut, you cut the bag out um, and you can use the you can use the material that's with there. Um, I actually have for this bag, but what I would do is just use some lining because for this is just to do the um, cross hat. <laughs> Yeah, the quilting. The yeah. quilting, sorry. Yeah, it's, I'm so excited, you see. I can't <laughs> even get my words out this morning. It's just to do the quilting. Um, so I would just use any old piece of material. Don't use it too dark because if you're working with cream and cream and then you've got a dark material inside, you're going yeah. to see it. And all I've done, and I will show you this little tip here, just to make sure that they're perfect, mm -hmm. I measured the centre of this side. Could you just come to the left slightly? <laughs> Perfect, thank you. So I measured the centre of this side here, so we've got that centre mark there. And then I measured the centre of here, which is my big dot there. And then all I did is, oh, oh, sorry, I'm just going to the cupboard, hold on. <laughs> Do you love our interactive set? <laughs> if you can get them off the hooks. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. That I'm, I'm going to steal that idea at home. Um, so I've got my little dot in the it's middle. It's nice to, yeah, it's, it's a good idea, idea actually. It? It's fantastic. It home to hang them, isn't I'm it? going to do that. I'm going to take that. That might be up later this afternoon. <laughs> Who knows? And then we just take from that corner and then you go through your dot to the other side. You do need to take into consideration your thickness of your nib. And if it's quite a thick nib, just come back slightly because you just want it to run down there. And then all I did, and I did an inch and a half. I need to put my glasses on, excuse me. So I just put my inch and a half mark along that centre line and drew. Do you like um, a friction pen? 
I used I do use them. Yeah. With this one, I used um, the the washable one yeah, because one. I did want it to stay because I did this quite a while ago, so I didn't want to come yeah. here and then it disappeared. If yeah. I got it into, it's just, you know, if I got heat near it, it would yeah. have completely disappeared. And then I, but I do like them. And then just go all the way, and then you turn it round, and then you do exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanted to, you could just draw that centre line and then use your machine foot. So you can do that. Yeah. And then all we do is do it exactly the same on the opposite side. And then, see, I've turned it over now because it was, I can hide my pen marks. And then use your machine. I don't know what machine you've got at home. I've got one that's got so many decorative stitches. Oh, it's a good chance, isn't it, to use those decorative stitches? Because actually, how many stitches do you generally use on your machine? Probably you don't, do five, you? six. Whereas actually, this is a great chance. Oh, to I, dive I, into I went through them. the whole of them and I found a leaf, oh, which I beautiful. thought worked. But there were flowers, there were hearts. You could do any that you like. Yes. And I think on one of the one of these ones. So I just again I utilise my stitches and I've done a cross as um, whatever that is, and then <laughs> <laughs> honestly I think I need some coffee and a little heart and that I did it in the same colour with the red so it's just delicate so you can see it but not see it but it quilted it but yes please use your machine and have a play and I think that one I think I increased the stitch on that. Okay. But again, never, never do it straight on here, just get an old piece of material. So I just went all the way around the outside and to do that I just put the line of my foot, I lined it up round and I've done that on both the sides. And that's with, um, sorry, I'm, you might have already mentioned this, have you got, what have you got inside though? Is it HFIX 640 or what is I it did not got? mention it, that's very, very right. good. Yeah, H640. Okay. I love it because it's fusible. Mm -hmm. What I did do, I've lost my 505, but I've just spotted some <laughs> up there, so you better check before I go out. But I use 404, right, because yeah. that's repositionable. Re re <laughs> uh, we're both at it now, aren't it. we? Repositionable. Um, but it gave me enough stick just to be able to stick the two together. It's much better if you do that, otherwise it's going to wiggle all over the place. And I would cut them out together. Okay. So I'd cut all the, the shape, I'd cut those two and then those two. And then when you've done the quilting, Mm -hmm. You might need to trim it around a bit because it moves. Actually, no, I, should, I take that back, just completely ignore. No, no, that is fine because when you don't cut the lining out yet. Okay. Because as you quilt, it does pull it in very, very slightly. Right. So cut the lining piece out once you've quilted and then you'll know mm -hmm. it's going to be absolutely exactly the right size. Perfect. That's all we did. Are we staying on this one? We are lovely. And then I've done most of them, and you'll I see. I love these little applique flowers. And it's up to you how many, how much, or how little you want, I suppose. I didn't want it everywhere, but that's what I wanted to show that you don't. The book is inspiration. The book is shows you how to do it. Yeah. You don't have to do it like Does that. Does it have the templates in the book for the flowers, or? I will show. You. Oh, oh. I, I do apologise. I should have got the one out that you've got because look at mine. I've used and used and used. Oh this. no! I've made to loads see that of these used bags. And used it. I am. Yes, so that is the template for the bag. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah, so like you say, you can use as much as that as you want or as little as that. And what I did with this one, I mean, I've got a big light box, so it was really, really easy. I don't know if you've we got have, them, you yeah, got we were talking stock. about it in the last hour, actually. Sorry, I, it wasn't that I wasn't listening, I was rather busy. <laughs> Sorry. I did have you on in the background. <laughs> um, but they are brilliant because they just illuminate, especially when you're age and can't really see much um, but that is really good but with this one I used the um, bonder web okay and I went straight onto the bonder web okay they're going to be back to front but does it really matter because they're just flowers as long as you do them all the same so that's what I've done with my little flower here so I've just got the bond web and you can see that I've drawn the shape but I haven't really followed it mm -hmm. I just got a shower flower shape <laughs> With all the nerves and excitement. No, I'm so excited. Shall I go back to bed and start again? <laughs> yeah, Honestly, I woke up at half past one and it's like, is it morning? It's like Christmas Day, isn't it? Well, do you know, I, so many times I've done that and I, I used to open my presents and then put them back together. <gasps> no. I used to wake up really early in the morning and just have a peep. <laughs> I, got, I got Orinoco, the Womble, one year and I just couldn't get back to sleep. I was so excited. So, and then all I did was just cut another piece of material out the middle I did that one by hand mm -hmm. and I also did the leaves by hand. So I did the leaves by hand. Sorry, I don't need that now. But no, what, I on the shelf. what I wanted to show yeah, you, on the shelf down there. What I wanted to show you was I just did some little 
um, stems on with going up to the leaves. So you do them first okay. before you put the flower on because that way you mark, you put your flower down and then you lift it up and mark the centre and then just draw and then you can follow it. That was a zigzag stitch. So and then I'm just going to put my last flower on and I'm hoping the iron will reach. <laughs> oh no, it's perfect. And then don't iron, press. Would so you need an ironing mat? Yes. <laughs> I thought that was see. <laughs> well, it, well, I, I, yes, you do. Please don't follow me. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Yes, you would. But I, I was well away from. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a stiff coffee <laughs> in my break. Can you have a stiff coffee? There we go. It's a good job you're on the ball today, isn't it? Would you? Would you like to? I don't know. Don't swap places. No, would be no, no. I there. do not want to swap places. <laughs> oh, I would be terrible there. Brilliant. So, and that's all you do. So, press, don't iron. So, press mm -hmm. is just putting it in one place and leaving it there. Iron is moving it around. So, you just want to press it down. Now, if you want to, on your, on this bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I get it? Yeah, absolutely. Grab it. Of course. Oh, so, so you've one. stitched, you've stitched round them, haven't you? You just done a straight stitch. Yeah. On this one, I did a straight. I am a lover of a zigzag stitch. You know that. I love zigzagging everything. But I did try to um, free motion. Oh, I think that would look beautiful. I, I, I can't see it quite. Could you move it slightly to the right? Well, we're off to we'll the right now, are we? have a bit now, of a closer we? look. We're off to the right. But like you say, actually, I think free motion is probably an easier way of doing it because of all of the, cur all of the curves around. Well, you're looking at me like, no, maybe you're better to just do no, no. straight stitch. I, I'm learning. I can't remember who told me that you have to free motion for about 30 hours to be any good. I'm nowhere near that yet. Right. Um, so I free motioned in the middle, which actually I really like because it looks like little seedy yeah. bits in the middle of the flower I did try it and I just thought no so I've gone around the outside with a straight stitch or you okay. can zigzag yeah um, but I and I zigzag through the leaves so that's the first part that you do I think it's it looks nice when you get that little bit of fray as well on the on um, the cotton if yes. you if you don't go right to the edge with the zigzag you will eliminate eliminate a bit of that yeah but um, I like that little bit because flowers they're only perfect for a couple of days aren't That's they it. and then they fray at the edges I just want to just show you though that if you want to mm -hmm. you can make the bag reversible oh good idea because you're putting binding on it there's no there's even no Edge oh, down here. Nice. I didn't do it to be reversible. What I did it for was just to let you know if you haven't quite got enough lining, mm -hmm. that you've just got two odd pieces, just put a piece of fabric down the centre to create a new piece of fabric. Oh, good idea. But then when I turned it out, I thought there is nothing on that to show that it, it can't isn't be reversible. reversible. So the book itself doesn't say it's a reversible no, bag, but it not. is, isn't it? But I've just made it reversible. Absolutely. Just so you know, the, a third of the book, over a third now of the book, has sold out. Um, we're going to change the graphics over on the bundle. We didn't have the graphics earlier on for the bundle with the greens, which was this one. So you get a metre of your cream, you also get a metre of your spot, and then you get a fat quarter of the chartreuse. So you have all of those fabrics, plus, oh, in fact, actually, you also then get your design roll. All of those included, £24.99, and we've got the graphics, so there you go. If you do want to check out on that one, you can now do it with the customer service team or on the website. Brilliant. Thanks, Wendy. I know. I spoke to Hayley last night, and she told me what was in there. I'm going, that's far too much. But it's brilliant because it means that you can do a lot of the other projects as well. Oh, and you're great. Gonna, and if you get your... Uh, people prefer their own wadding. Mm -hmm. I love H640 because it has... You can iron it on. But you could use any with it. You wouldn't have to. What have I just said? <laughs> oh, no, no, nothing. No. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> You're just looking at me, so I said so. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's there asking me, do you want a cup of tea, Vix? It's just so lovely here. Wendy thought, it's because Wendy thought I was saying something bad. She was like, what have I just said? It I could said, be anything today. I'm, no, I'm just trying to tell them I'm okay for a cup of tea. Thank you. Thanks, Simon. Don't worry about me, Simon. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> No, you don't get a break, do We're you? We're trying to make a good impression on Simon because lovely Simon, we should really show Simon. Do you want to oh, come and say hello? Come on, Simon. Simon's our main technical. What's your um, official title? Engineering. 
The um, oh, head of engineering. Head of engineering. This is Simon, head of engineering. <laughs> Thank you so much for working tirelessly that's the, that's through the night. Five years. Really? He's worked in television oh. for five years and he's never been on telly. <gasps> We've done it. Yes. We cracked it. But no, thank you for the uh, offering to do a tea run. But I'm all good, thank you. I'm fine no as well. No time for tea today. We haven't, have we? It's too and exciting. I, you can't, you know, when you think, oh, like you've got new carpets or a new sofa or something in your house, or if you get a new car and you think, oh, I can't eat and drink in it, I feel like I can't eat my breakfast or drink a cup of tea in I here today. I wonder where you were this morning. I bought my oat milk as well for me, thinking, oh. Vix will be around in a minute and you didn't turn up. Oh. It's like Billy No Mates in that oh. room today. I know, we've been very excited in here. I have <gasps> to move all your makeup out. <laughs> Yeah, we're sharing. We've got a dressing room now. We've got a dressing room. It's very, very exciting. Right, so we've got our two pieces, and I'd say they've both got a back in. Don't use your good back in. Um, just put um, a piece of scrap material. So they're the two pieces, and then we put them to one side for the moment, and we make the lining. Okay. Now, the lining is going to be exactly the same size as this. Remember, don't cut this out until you've done your. Um, quilting. <laughs> Are you don't, okay with I don't know why that word's gone today. Quilting. quilting. Until you've done your quilting. If in doubt, it's quilting. It's, it's exactly. because oh, it shrinks slightly. <laughs> it's slightly, slightly smaller, it isn't it? it yeah, as, as because you've got the wadding, as you stitch in, you're stitching down, you're pulling that wadding in. Okay. So cut the lining out afterwards. So I've done this one and I've created the pleats. These are super, super easy. So you're learning lots of different techniques, aren't you, with this bag? That's why it's brilliant for yeah. a beginner because it is so clear the instructions. As I say, yeah. apart from if you make sure that you put the seam allowance, but as I've mentioned, yeah. if you don't, then you don't. So then all we do is to get the template. Now I've measured, I need to put my glasses on, I've put in the pleats here. <laughs> Left a bit, right a bit. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> We're back to that golden shot again, aren't we? Um, so I've put. You won't know what that is. You're far too young. Oh dear, I, I did read a lot of comments young. on the Facebook Live about that though, about the game shows that day that we were doing game show once, <laughs> Golden Shot. Have heard yes. about it. Bernie and his bolt. Right, so we've got, um, I've marked the pleats in, so then all I'm going to do is transfer that to the edge of the material. And I'm going to do that on both pieces. But what you can do to make sure that they're absolutely accurate is just lay, now you've had marked one, just lay the second one down on top. See how easy is this to make pleats? It's oh, very, really very good. Easy. Really good transferable skill as well, isn't it? And it looks so much more professional. You know, if you're starting out bag making, don't get me wrong, yes, you can really quickly and easily make, say, a tote bag. But then when you're doing something like this, it looks so advanced. The beautiful strap with your applique and your quilting and your pleats, everything. There's loads of different techniques. There really is. That's brilliant. No, I would re recommend it to anyone that is new. All we're going to do now, and this is super, super easy, all you have to think is you've got one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So two to the right, and two to the left. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to put two of our pleats going towards that side and to that side. And then on the bag, you can see that they go outwards, both of them. Okay. You don't want them all going the same way. Yeah. And all we do to create them is we put the two marks together. If you want to, you can mark in between just to show that you know it's those two marks and not those two marks. And then we put the two together and then we let it fall to the side that it needs to go. So this one needs to go to the right. I'm glad I got my high heels on today. Oh, no, yes. You look um, lovely. I'm all dressed up. To try. <laughs> And then we put that one to the right, and then I'm just pinning them. And we do exactly the same. We put the two points together, but this time, and you can see we're working with quite a lot of material here. It's quite fat. Could you use a clip? So the clip's going to be. The clips helpful. are brilliant. I use them for. Uh, I've used them for something else. Sorry. Yeah. I, yeah I, they're but in pinning my, as well. Pinning. Yeah. Easy. Clips are brilliant. Yeah, they are my favourite because you know that I don't like pins for the reason of leaving them around. And you know how I leave things around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I'm just so excited I've got this much space to work with. Oh, it's Brilliant. great, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bad thing giving me this much space, though, because I will use it. We just it. use it still, don't we? Oh, Wendy, we've got loads of lovely messages for you. There's a lady, actually, Wendy, another Wendy, messaged Ooh, in. Nice name. <laughs> she said what? Sorry, Hannah. Oh, I bet the atmosphere is buzzing in the studio. It really is. It really, really is. 
I did get sent out, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like a naughty school child, but out, come on. <laughs> She said, you look so happy. I she said, good luck in your new home. Thank you oh. so much. It is like our new home. We're basically going to be living here now. You could live here. We've got a kitchen to the side. You probably saw on Neil's. Uh, just so you know, the new code there, you can see it on your screen. It, £40 it, it is all that you need to spend to receive £10 off. £10 off when you spend £40. Just use the code new studio. Yeah, we could move in, couldn't we? We've got a kitchen. I am. It's like a living room. I am. I'll be in. <laughs> I've got my suitcase in the car. I'm in. Oh, it's, I love it here. I just love it here. We are dangerously close to those golden arches and the other snack places just around the corner. I don't like any of them. I know you don't. I'm mm. very envious that Wendy's extremely healthy and you don't like any of them, especially with your daughter keeping you oh. in check with all oh, your Oh, she does. She keeps, she keeps me in check. But I was on, I, I came out. We, with hubby for a few days and um, I was on the water all day yesterday. Oh brilliant, so, paddle boarding again. Uh, we kayaked for about kayaked. two and a half hours and then I sent him away to get me some food and stuff and then I paddle boarded for about oh. an hour and a half, it's just fantastic. Beautiful. So all we do now is we just, we're going to just take the pins away, so to do that we're just going to sew um, a tacking stitch, so I'm going to put it up to 3, 3.5 and that's because when I put them together I don't want the pins, that's all I'm doing it for, no other reason. Don't sew over your pins, please don't sew over your pins and I'm sewing within the quarter of an inch seam allowance, I didn't okay. mention that, the whole bag is a quarter of an inch but as I've always said it doesn't matter, if you keep consistent all the way, if it's a little bit out it doesn't matter. I have got my quarter of an inch foot on so I'm going to have to go quite close to the edge and I'm not forcing, I'm simply pressing the fabric down. Because you haven't got your walking foot on or anything and it seems to be handling absolutely fine. Do you know, I did back bag, you'll be very impressed with me, the whole of it with walking foot. Right, oh. The whole right. of it, even everything. Yeah. Apart from the free motion that I did try, but honestly it didn't stay on long, that free motion foot. But I am, that is, you know, one of those things that you really want to master? Yeah. That is one of them yeah. and that's what I'm going to do. How many hours more do you need to practice then? About to get 29 to the and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I am getting a lot more confident. And sometimes I, because you've got the gloves, the gloves are brilliant because they've got like the little sticky bits on them. Um, oh, the quilting gloves. But that's yeah, the one. Great, yeah. But even, even they haven't helped me. I, I, I won't accept that it's just not my <laughs> thing. I will make sure I keep going. So what, what Hayley needs to do is give me a project that is purely free motion, and then I'll have to, mm -hmm. and I'll have to Okay, spend. that's challenge accepted, we'll have a word. Yes, I will do it. But this is coping brilliantly, but don't force it, just take your time. Now we've got our pleats in place, and so you've got two going that way and two going that oh, way. lovely. And we've done exactly the same, Two going that way and two going that way with the lining. So all we need to do now is we're going to um, we're going to sew these two together. And so I would clip because you're working with quite it's a, a lot to get through with your pins, isn't it? It is, but and um, I've had these pins. I got these pins from from you guys. I've had these for ages and. They are brilliant because they're really long. Yeah, they look strong as well, actually. A lot of pins I've got at home tend to just bend if I try to get them through. And they're sharp. Like this. They are very sharp. Right, you want nice. Ask me how I know. Long. How, how do you know? I know, just <laughs> that's all you know. Um, but they're brilliant because some of them, you, you're trying to push them and they won't go through. These are very, very sharp and pointed. Now you can, I, I did this after, but it does tell you to sew them together first. You can do it which way, again, when you get the book home, as long as you follow the basing instructions. So I'm just going to sew around here. It would help if I had my pins facing on top and I'm going to do a quarter of an inch. Oh, and I'm gonna put it back down to a 2.4, 2.5. And reverse stitch at both ends just to, cause you are going to put a little bit of pressure on those ends in a moment. Great thing we can see everything going on now as well, can't we? Look. No, I can't hide now, can I? No, no hiding now, Wendy. <laughs> no, I could hide before, I can't hide now. So I'm just sewing right oh, sides together. Getting even closer. Oh. Yeah, so right sides together. Just so you know, the, the book is underneath us on the website. Oops. Half the stock is now gone. Mm. 
I'm not surprised. It's a good price as well. When you break it down to how much it is per project. Oh, absolutely. It's pence, isn't it? You've got 30 projects in there. And actually, no, oh, that's wrong. It says there are over 30 projects in here. There's loads more than that. And like you say, once you sort of learn these transferable skills, the quilts could become cushions or become coasters or become table runners or however you want to do them. You could use the different templates, like the dancing, the dresses one, on a bag or you could use it on a cushion. There is a really cute little bag. A little oh. I think it's a phone holder bag, oh, okay. phone, phone, phone bag, yeah. little of a little dress. It's very, very sweet oh, because um, children they want to be like mummy with their yeah, little phones. They've got handbags. their little toy phone, and but this again, this perfect size because you can change. You can do these as long or as short as you want to do That's them. That's a good idea. I wouldn't do them too long if because obviously with children's safety in mind, so I'd I'd have them nice and short. But they could carry that and it wouldn't drag on the ground. Yeah. Do you remember when you used to have like your mum's bag and it used to drag everywhere yeah. because it was <laughs> so long? So I've sewn right sides together. And all we do is we turn this. I just wanted to show you right sides together so you can see there is quite a lot of fabric there oh, i'm just going to use Give my iron <laughs> i only need telling once <laughs> oh. Thank you. yes my flowers coming off but i haven't i haven't stitched these ones but i would definitely stitch them before and then we've got that. Oh, it's such a beautiful colour. It's like a, a sagey green, isn't it? It's, a it's one of my favourite green. greens. Yeah, it's oh, like it's an really olive green. Beautiful. I love what I used to hate olives, but I love them now. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get you get the green as well. You get so much of that because oh, so you get a fat quarter. How much do you need then? What is this for? Your leaves? Is this for your leaves? <gasps> About that much. Amazing. And look, you get loads. You get a whole fat quarter of that. That's why I said I said to Hayley, you've, you've got far too much material in here. She's spoiling you today. That's because of the new studio, oh, isn't I it? Oh, I know. And it's good to just build up a bit of a stash, isn't it? Oh, I've got a big stash. <laughs> oh, it's crammed everywhere. Don't tell hubby. Uh, there's even more space here for us to have a huge stash. Like, don't get me wrong, we were sort of splitting at the seams in the other room, trying to, to, to keep everything. It trying was to cozy. keep friends with Jewelry Maker as well. Cozy. We didn't want to completely overload their, their offices. But um, here, we have got we can so have a party. much space. We can have a party. Non alcoholic, because <laughs> I don't drink. I bet no one can believe that I don't drink. You don't need to, do you? So I'm now going to create the handle, which again, everything, I keep saying it's super easy, it's super easy, it really is, but just take it step by step. Yeah. Remember, that is your friend and it works for you, not the other way around. So I've come prepared. So, so how do you make these little um, With the little hand, yes. The little handles. So you've got all the dimensions and what you need to cut okay. in there. And this is where you would cut them longer or shorter if you want to. But I would actually construct the plait first and then decide and then yeah. cut it off. So all you do is you have your strip mm -hmm. and then... Oh, I am so glad I wore my high heels today. <laughs> Earlier on when they were setting the cameras yesterday, I was standing in. They were like, "Right, so how tall is your guest tomorrow?" And I was like, "I don't, I don't think Wendy's tiddly tall. Sure, so I'm sure. I could do with another six inches." So all you do, and I have pre-done <laughs> this, is you would iron the wrong sides together, and then you open it back out, and then you fold in and iron that side in. I'm glad I'm not the only one with a, a mat that's got stickiness on it. Elliot's roaming around as well. You've got to be careful. Did you see? We've just got Simon on telly. You're going to be next, Elliot. Oh, I think he should. Oh, he's ready. He's like, oh, yeah. he is. He's oh, ready. Come on, oh, come on. <laughs> we'll meet Elliot in the next hour. It's remember, it's mine and Hannah's picks in the next hour, which is very exciting. We picked Elliot. Elliot can come and talk about some of our picks. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Making his debut. I don't, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's ever been on telly either, actually. And then all you do is you fold them together. So then you've created a nice little tube. And then we sew along one side. Because you have got quite a lot of fabric in one place, mm -hmm. um, that's it. I would increase the stitch length. OK. What two? What are you going to stitch? I haven't decided. Let's have a three. We'll three. have a three. So I'm going to just sew down the edge. And you can sew down 
both sides. It is quite a, a thin strip. And I should have changed the foot because I've got the quarter of an inch foot on. So I'm just going to do one. So just sew down. And for these, let's take that out of the way. For these, I did two. Okay. So those ones have got one either side. I went really close to the edge with that one. Lovely. And then what we do is we just create, create our plait. So the first thing you want to do is just try and get the three mm -hmm. to behave together. So I'm just going to sew them just so that they're connected. All on top of each other. All on top of each other. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's a bit like a top of a Will that go into wigwam. the binder, into the bag? It anyway. will be hidden. hidden. So okay. yes. I'm just going to sew. I'm going to put my stitch length back down because I do want them to stay together. And I'm just going to reverse back over it just so that it's nice and solid. So that's all I've done. So I've just sewn them together. Now this bit, I stuck the end under my machine because you yeah. do need a little bit of resistance. I have a plan, whether my plan will work, who knows. We'll try it out. I will try my plan. I'm thinking if I put that on there and... Oh, see, that's mm. what's great about these cushion boards. You'll be able to pin it down, absolutely. I'm thinking, you see, and then... To yeah. plait. And then I'm going to plait. So it's literally to the centre. I'm not actually sure if it tells you how to plait in there. Oh, right. Hmm. I love plaiting. Yeah. I, yeah, I do love plaiting. But um, make it a flat plait. Okay. So you don't want to be pulling it. You just want to sort of fold it over and fold it over because we want it nice and flat. Well, there you go. If you're struggling on, if you're not quite sure how to do the plait, then you can watch this back on YouTube. Oh, we can. It's just literally from the outer into the centre, take the outer into the centre. And that's all I'm doing, but I'm keeping it as flat as I possibly can. If I was to pull it, it's going to make a much thinner one, and I just want a nice, soft, flat plait. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Oh, I managed, I got it. I'm glad. It's, that's it. I'm just going to give up with it today. Mm -hmm. It's just the normal words, isn't it, that we're struggling with today? <laughs> no, it's just quilting. <laughs> it's just quilting today. You've got about four minutes, if that's okay, Wendy. That's fine. Oh, and then we also want to talk about Bugs in a Bag, if that's oh, okay, because I course. didn't see that show. I've watched it back, and I think they are absolutely oh. genius. I love them. So they're back in stock. We're going to talk to Wendy about them if you missed them. Yes, I had a, quite a few messages to say, oh, we missed them, we missed them, and I, I, we didn't know if we'd be able to get them back so soon, which is fantastic. And then all I've done is I've just secured that end, and I'm going to cut it off neatly. And then you would make the second plait. Well, you can see I've made that one much tighter than I have that one, but that's what we're looking for. We're looking right. for. I got a little bit excited then and pulled it too hard. So that's what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. So we've got um, a nice flat plait there. And we're just going to sew it to the front of the bag. And all I did. How many inches more would you need it to be? <laughs> How long do you need the, the strap to be? For <laughs> We've got to be grown-ups in our new studio. Um, you can have it as long as you want. Okay. <laughs> you cut it 15 and 3 quarters, I okay. think. It's in the book, isn't it's it? It's all in the book. Okay. But if you want it to be shorter, then you can. And all I did was I lined it up with, that, with the right-hand side plait on that side and then the left plait, pleat. Even. You see, you didn't even, you weren't listening no. then, were you? I'm giggling, I'm giggling, <laughs> I'm lost I can hear now. them in your ear. <laughs> They've gone. Oh. Um, and then when you do the handle, you turn it around so you don't want it twisted. And then pop it in the end and put it the other side. They're not going to let me back at, what I don't even know what time, 11? Am I back at 11? Yeah, we need you back after 9pm. <laughs> <laughs> after the watershed. Oh dear. But you see, I absolutely love sewing, so that everything's lost on me because I'm just in the moment. I just, I would sew 24 yeah, seven. What, how much were we for time? Um, three minutes. Oh, I might, I might actually get one finished, but it will only have one handle, so. Oh no, it's great to be able to see. Yeah. We can handle that, can't we? Oh. Good to be able to just oh. see these more difficult techniques throughout. That was lame this We're morning. We're relaxing it now, aren't we? That was lame, that was. <laughs> so you can pretend that we've got one on the other side like that. 
And then all you want to do is you want to put right sides together. No, you don't. I lied. You oh, because this isn't one way you need it, to yes, bag out, yes, is sorry. it? It's your binding Yes, so you top. want wrong sides together. Wrong sides together. So we pop that in there. If you want to put a pocket inside, could you put a pocket on your lining? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, I, put, I would. Um, there's so much you can do with this, okay. but I just wanted to make it more or less, apart from yeah. the applique, and then we just fit the two in together. And what you want to do, let's get her out of the way, we want to line the two seams up together. And again, I have left them in my li the little room, but I would clip this part. Definitely clip this because you will um, prick yourself with the pin. It's very sharp. So I nearly got off uh, one made. Oh yeah, it's really? actually. I know. Obviously, you you came with the the, the parts prepared, but it isn't. Even it is though a very it looks quick make. very complex, it comes together really quickly. Very very quick make it is. So we would put it together, wrong sides together. Clip or pin it all in place. Definitely, I definitely clip it. I should have told you actually, we have got loads of um, our clips on our interactive set. I've only just told me. Thank, thank you for telling me <laughs> that. In fact, I can see them, that's lovely. And then all you do, and this is, this is quite important that you do this because um, I think in the book that, that you get the top tab here. Um, I think in the book that they've measured it without the quarter of an inch seam allowance. So the one yep. I made was a bit short. So do the whole of the bag first and then lay it, stretch it as, as much as you can and measure that mm -hmm. because that's what you want to do and then add half an inch on. Right. So then you'll sew, you'll sew the end, which will a quarter of an inch each side, which will allow for that half inch. So stretch it, uh, measure it and then add a half an inch. And then you just place, and I just show it with this bit, you place it right sides together, mm -hmm. so all the way round, because it'll be a tube, but again, clip it into place. And then you fold it back. This is rather fat, but you fold it back and back on itself. And then that's what creates the lovely binding at the top. And then if you do really neat stitches on the back hand, sew it, then you can sew it in. I personally don't like stitching in the ditch mm -hmm. because I can never get the other side. I always yeah. like to hand, and I love oh. hand sewing. Yeah, it looks beautiful then, doesn't it, when you just do that extra little bit of slip stitching. But if you did stitch in the ditch and it wasn't quite right the other side, you wouldn't want to turn it yeah. the other way. But here, you can quite easily just turn it the other way out. Absolutely. I love the fact that we've now made it into a reverse yeah. bag as well. Put our own Thank take on it. Thank you so, so much for that. We're going to talk to you in just a second yes. about the bugs in the bag, if that's OK. You've got one there, haven't I have. you? You can get ready. I have. Fabulous. We'll have a quick recap of the kit while Wendy's sorting out her bugs in a bag. Um, we've got the book that it comes from, which is absolutely beautiful. They're all just such pretty little projects. So we've got quilts, we've got bags, we've got gifts in here, um, the little corsages and fruit. Look, even your dancing dresses, you could do one of these on a cushion or you could do your border on a different quilt. You're going to learn so many great transferable techniques and they're all so pretty. These are the ones that we were saying earlier on, your strawberry corsage, whether it be a brooch or on a hat or whether you just have them as little pin cushions. They're adorable. I know Wendy's book is very well used. I think you might need a new book actually, Wendy. £12.99. She has used it a lot, which is great, isn't it? It's lovely to see Argus designers. You know, it's a good sign of a book, isn't it, when it's used? Um, and of course, you can make your own notes on it as well. You can, uh, it's your book. You could absolutely make your own notes. I would take Wendy's advice and transfer with, um, you know, just trace out your patterns so that they do stay lovely and nice so you can use and use and use and use it again. It's only £12.99 though, great price for over 30 projects in there. Now, the bundle that Wendy's been using, which was this gorgeous olive green, you get plenty, and when I say plenty, I mean more than enough fabric to do your bag and loads of little extras from your book as well. So you get your Great British panel, which is gorgeous. It's huge, it's extra wide, 140 wide, and it's exclusive to us with all of these lovely Great British colours. All of your gingham prints, your spots, your florals. I love, 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 love these. Plus, you're also getting a metre of your cream or ivory, metre of your ivory, metre of your olive green spot. And then you're also getting a fat quarter of chartreuse. And that's simply just for the leaves on your applique. So that will go a really, really, really long way as well. You're getting 
lots and lots of fabric. That was the most popular of the bundles. We also had the other colourway, which was the one that Wendy made up her um, bag with, which is with lilac. So once again, you get your design roll. You then also get your metre of your ivory. Um, Elliot, cat might need you in the gallery, please. <laughs> you also get a metre of your lilac spot and you get your fat quarter of chartreuse. Uh, it's still 24.99, we'll get the correct graphics in for you in a second though for you. So you've got your design roll plus a metre of your um, beautiful colours, your lilac and your, your cream plus your fat quarter of chartreuse for £24.99. Fantastic. There you go. KZXC37. Thank you, Elliot. So, I heard all about this project. It is a genius idea. It's such a good idea. And I think that loads of people missed out when we launched this a few weeks ago. We've managed to work with Wendy to get as many as we can back. Um, so, the green one, did you say? The green one. Uh, is your bugs in a bag, which you get your step-by-step -step instructions, you get your chartreuse, and then you also get the most fantastic panel. I'll open the panel out, but then I'm going to leave it up to Wendy to tell us just how many games and the concept of this, because I know that this was designed by Wendy, but look at how many, you snakes and ladders, you've got your noughts and crosses, you've got your dominoes, you've got your memory game, you've also got uh, the target as well for your uh, bean bags, there's so much to do with this, I love, absolutely love this Wendy, it's exclusive to us. I'll just show you the one other colourway bundle, remember you get half a metre of chartreuse with that one, with the blue bundle, Oh, we've got labels. These are exclusively printed, especially for us here. So once again, your instructions, your half a metre of your blue, and your pre-printed exclusive panel. Oh, are these your drawings? Oh, they are adorable. They're absolutely adorable. Do you know my favourite one? I absolutely love the slug. Oh, it's Wendy's favourite as well. This slug is just so, so cute. <laughs> Look at them, they're gorgeous. Right, so this is the, the blue um, option. It's £23.47. It completely sold out on the launch show. It's back, back, back. And remember, when you spend £40 a day, new studio is the code and you get £10 off. So if you've bought, got something already from the hour, add this in. So, Wendy, I'm so pleased that we've managed to get these back. We've only got a couple of minutes. I'd love to spend another hour talking about these because I think they're genius. Oh, I love it. It was, it was designed for, like, young mums on the go or to have around granny and grandpas. Oh. Um, and we've, I've done it quite muted so that it can be hung on their coat rack and not be seen because I didn't want it to be like in your face. Yeah. And then it's just a boring bag. Well, we're all thinking about more sustainability uh, and not having lots of plastic games. It's lovely to have something, one, that you can chuck in the wash, and, mm. and, and, and two, that you know, you're gonna be able to keep and reuse and reuse and love and enjoy. Well, that's the thing. If you needed to take all these games, and we counted, I think we counted seven on air last oh. time. That was seven, but there's so many things you can do. So you get your bag, and then you get your bits inside. So you get your dice. Oh, your dice. You don't have to have a dice if you want to take it into things like restaurants it's probably not a good idea to launch that across the table so it'd be a good idea to get like you can get them quite big yeah um and then it's got so many games on so the first side is so i've got being bag in there the first side is your uh, just a plain side and then you've got all these tiles so you turn them over and then the slug is my favorite i'm surprised that you like that one you do get your instructions as well. You to get, get to all. Make these, you get your instructions how to make them, but you also and I won't be held responsible. They're not in here. You get game rules, but <laughs> I, I'm not going to be held responsible. Oh, for my any family, we arguments. always end in arguments for games. Very competitive. And then there's enough room for 16 of them. So there's 14 of the pairs, and then just take a couple of. There's two. There's the bumblebee and the caterpillar that have got five of each. And then it's literally just you turn it over, no match. So that's yeah. the matching game, and then you turn it over and you've got your three in a row game. So you just play, you'll notice on the that one that the grid is slightly bigger because we wanted a bigger grid. So we've just ah. supersized it. And then you just play three in a row for that game. Nice. And then you just turn it inside out. So you push your corners in well because you want to have a flat surface. And then you've got a target on one side. Now I have made this with the 
fluffy wadding. The yeah. one that you saw that I demonstrated last time was made from the Thermalan, which actually sits much flatter. Okay. So I wanted to try it both ways, but the Thermalan works for me. Yeah, Thermalan and, then, and H640 both on the website. And you can either play it with the small, because I've made eight of these. It does say in here to make four double-sided, but I've made eight. Or you can play with the bean bags. Oh, brilliant. But I thought with the bean bags there might be you, there might be room for arguments yeah. um, <laughs> if they don't quite fall. And then you turn it over, which is my favourite, and then you've snakes got the snakes and ladders. and ladders. So you've got the counters. As I say, I did them double sided because I couldn't think of having eight counters on here. But you could if you wanted to, and then you've got your big dice. Oh, I absolutely love it. And like you say, the seven games, but actually more, you can play around and yeah. make up your own games as well. Thank you so, so You're much. You're so welcome. It's exclusive to us, just to remind is, you. Yes. We'll try and get as many of those um, at home as possible. We try to get as many back in stock. Thank you so, so Thank much, you. Wendy. Adding to the doorstop collection yes. in the oh, next hour wait. as well. Brilliant. We'll see you back at 11 o'clock. I have no idea where today's going. It's absolutely flying by, isn't it? Thanks so much for, uh, for being with us this morning. We've got so much coming up in this next hour. Hannah and I have put together a whole hour of our picks. And of course, we want to get as many people using that discount, uh, discount code as possible. So stay with us. You're also going to meet another one of the technical brains behind the new studio. Our Elliot is coming in on to say hello. So do not go anywhere. We're coming back after this. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil, and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So, number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon.
Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Ah, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! <laughs> I'm back. This is so... <laughs> right. It's all right, Elliot. Thank you. Sorry that I just screamed at you. Welcome back, everybody. We're in our new studio. We're just getting used to things, if I'm honest. It's a real good job that I came out and not another naughty word. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for the great team for telling me when I'm on the telly. Um, right, anyway, welcome back. I was just here, just doing my hair and then saw myself. Uh, welcome back. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, my name's Vicky with you for the first time from our brand new home, our brand new studio, which is all singing, all dancing, loads of cameras, uh, loads of space, plenty of opportunity to show you um, all of, uh, everything all sewing, which is of course what we want to do. Thank you so much for all of your lovely, lovely messages. It's so good to have your company. We've also got a brilliant offer for you today. Uh, when you spend 40 pounds, you get 10 pounds off in one single transaction you can use the code once today um, and that lasts till midnight tonight just use the code new studio at checkout or speak to the customer service team and quote new studio so uh the new bundle well let's just talk about this hour in general we put together hannah and i hannah is my producer by the way and uh if you watched yesterday's show, you know that she's got a very good eye for picking out certain products. And I like to think that I do too. Like we work together to pick out some of our favorites. Um, straight away we've bought the graphics live because this is a bundle. As soon as you know uh, the name Annie Downs, then you know this fabric is just exquisite. All of her beautiful hand-drawn designs. We wanted to show you this mega bundle straight away because a majority of the prints sold out by the half meter. There are still some available by the half meter, but it's one of her uh, 2020 fabric ranges, which is, what I love about it, it's Christmas, but it's not like uh, novelty Christmas. This is more like winter. This is something that you could have right from now, really, going into, Oct well, October, November, December, through to, say, March, couldn't you? It's absolutely beautiful. I've got a feeling that today will be the last time to make the most of the mega bundle. I think this might be the last chance that we see it, uh, which might be the last chance to see a lot of these prints. It's absolutely beautiful quality fabric. Um, and we'll do everything in our power to get it in time for Christmas. But I know in the, the crafting world, we've all got to think slightly further ahead than everybody else. We're already in September. If you want to get making some of your projects, then now is the time to make the most of it. Today, especially because we've never offered a deal on this collection. We're not just saving a, a, a pound or two. You're now for the first time getting this under a hundred pounds if you use the code new studio. £104.49, but today, £10 off using the code new studio. And we've never offered a discount on this fabric. We don't need to. It's the latest range. It's the most beautiful collection. It's always, of course, going to be extremely popular. Um, but yeah, we can't get this one back. Well, I never say never. I never say never. I know that our buying team are working really, really hard, doing everything in their power to get all of you know the shows together ready for Christmas. This is one we would desperately try and get back 
if we can, but I don't want to promise. Um, it isn't just uh, the fact, you know, obviously that you gain the whole range here, but some of these individual prints are going to be more so more difficult to get hold of. They, there are some of the prints individually available on the web. Have a look on the web because we've put them all underneath us. They're there available by the half meter. These three, I can tell you for one, they're not available on the web. Um, there's other ones from this range. I think the pairs one you can get. I think the stars one you might be able to get. It's definitely worth having a look and seeing if you want any of those by the half meter because the prints are absolutely beautiful. But these ones, your, elevers pipe, your 11 pipers piping, seven swans are swimming, all of these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. The only way of getting these three prints are um, in the bundle. £104 and 49 pence. Come in a bit closer and have a look at the, uh, the lovely prints. They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? As I say, the only way of getting these three now is getting them in the mega bundle. £104 and 49 pence. That's seven and a half metres. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's our first pick. Um, Brand new fabric up next. Are you ready? We, we've thought we can't disappoint. Our first day in our new studio, our picks as well. It's our name going on this. We've got to make sure that we, uh, that we do everything we can. What was that, sorry, Elliot? Right, so, blue bundle. Brand new, gorgeous Riley Blake fabric. You know how much I adore Riley Blake. Um, those of you that follow different designers in the crafting world and in the quilting world in particular, you probably already heard of, uh, of Riley Blake. And today, remember, oh, in fact, actually, no. You make a saving anyway. Forget the code for a second. Uh, you're getting a two pound saving. Why is that? Why is that? I do not know. We did I tell you what, I did not know we were doing that. That's a little sneaky sneaky from Hannah. She says, you're welcome. I don't think she knew either, but she's now claiming it as her discount. Two pounds saving at 29.96. She's like, can you be a bit quieter though, please? Because uh, you know, the office are literally next door and watching our every move. Uh, so if you're buying the buy the half meter, obviously you won't get that saving, but that's what half a meter looks like. So you can see half a meter of each of these. You've got your blue. You've got your blue with flowers. They are beautiful, aren't they? And it's a really gorgeous blue. What colour would you call this? It's like a cornflowery blue. It's so pretty. This one's got that delicate pink running through as well. 100% cotton, quilting weight cotton. There's the um, half metre of your beautiful floral print. Half a metre of this. Just a reminder, our warehouse team have already pre-cut these bundles. So if you are multi-buying on the bundles, they will already come pre-cut like that. So that's your half metre. Remember, I know that you're still getting this discount, but if you're totaling your basket over £40, you can still get that £40 off in one transaction. Absolutely worth checking out on that. Um, this one again, half a metre, already pre-cut. It's such beautiful quality. You can feel the quality of Riley Blake. Uh, those of you that have bought Riley Blake fabric in the past, then you, you'll be aware of that already. It's absolutely stunning quality. And they've thought about different scales of print. You've got that interest to the eye, haven't you? Um, we were talking about Hannah. Hannah's got a great eye for, uh, for colour. Not for men. <laughs> she's not bitter or anything but uh do you know i'm a bit concerned because hannah was all dreamy eyed last week that she went on a lovely first date are you over that already are you she says i'm over it she says she says i don't know i don't know she was going to go on a second date with him tonight but she's not quite sure now and i've just said that on telly as well if he's watching he's going to be heartbroken half a meter of your white background with the blue flowers with your pink. She's got a really pretty subtle pink vine running through as well, which is lovely. £29.96, pence, saving of £2 on your two metre bundle. Remember, that's half a metre of each of your fabrics. Do you love them? They're brand new in today. Our picks, we've got different colourways as well from the same range. Remember, you could get both of the bundles. You could get this next bundle and then you can use the code and get £10 off. Uh, let's go for the greys or the pinks. 
the greys. I love greys in home interior and I love the fact that you've still got a really, really pretty pink running through as well. There's a little bit of pink. There's lovely blues. They're great transitional prints and they will look really, really lovely with your blues as well, with the ones that we've just been showing. So if you manage to get both of them, remember to use the code and get £10 off. Saving of £2 on this one as well. Yep. Thank you, Hannah. Yep, you can thank our Hannah. £29.96. pence. I love all of the little swirls and the dots as well. I mean, there's real attention to detail. Really, atten a lot, lots of attention to detail with uh, all of our Riley Blake prints. This is a range I've never seen before. Brand new in today. £29.96. Good morning, Audrey. Oh, Audrey loves the new studio. We've had, honestly, so many messages. It just feels so surreal, but instantly feels like home. Do you know what I mean? I think when Wendy was here and we were having a, a good old chat and giggle, like it just feels then like, ah, oh, we're home. This is so lovely. Hi, Glennis. Good morning. Love the studio. Oh, Glennis, thanks so much. We love it too. Love it, love it, love it too. Carol. Pardon, sorry. Has anybody told Debbie you've moved? Oh, <laughs> why? Why is that? Is Debbie message saying she doesn't know that she lost somewhere? <laughs> no, Debbie's, uh, when's Debbie next in? Bex is on tomorrow. I'm back on Friday. I think she's on on Sunday. So, no, she definitely, everybody obviously knows we're moving. Although it was very sort of touch and go. It was last minute. Obviously, we didn't want to jinx all the technical team. But um, it was yesterday lunchtime when we came off air. We got the call to say... I think that we're um, that we are we are going to be moving. Obviously, we'll have to make sure that the helipad is ready for next uh, for the weekend when Debbie's here. Obviously, uh, but we've got a beautiful dressing room, a green room. We've got two kitchens and a kitchen set as well. So when we're doing kitchen makes, that'll be beautiful. Um, did you try to use the kitchen set as a real kitchen? Is it not a real kitchen? No, it's just a dress kitchen. So maybe when we're doing some kitchen makes, we can use that. We've also got loads of space to display all of our lovely quilts that our guest designers bring in and all of our dresses when we do dressmaking. Just so much more space. It's just amazing. Look at this desk for sewing. So that's the grey option. We've also got the pink if there's anything you want me to see uh you know with any of your mixes or anything like that then let me know i'll try and put some together with some of the blenders these are all brand new they're in our picks today and i love the fact that you're also making a great saving of two pounds uh, for all four of your half meter pre-cuts remember if you are getting the half meters you don't get that discount. It's just if you're buying these bundles today. And those of you that are multi-buying on the bundles, remember our warehouse team have always, um, have of course, uh, already pre-cut these. So uh, just be aware if you do multi-buy, then they will come pre-cut. Woo! I love our speedy cameras as well, have you noticed? So we have no co camera operative here. It's all robotic, very 2020 cameras which I love. I can see one, two, three, four, five. We've got five cameras in here. Five cameras. Oh, here we go. We can show you them. Here's, um, oh yeah, let's just preparing them. Hi, Denise. Morning all. Got carried away with the £10 off. Ordered my mannequin this morning. Oh, brilliant. Great idea to get your dress form. I said, loving the studio. So, right, what am I showing you now? Is this the kitchen? <laughs> right, excuse all the boxes. So this is sort of behind the cameras. You can see all of like the kitchen. Um, there's all of our stuff. <laughs> there's more stuff. There's more things. And then if it spins round, it carries on round to this wall here, which we'll have. So this is going to be a great wall that we're going to be able to show all of um, the quilts and things. And then all of these lovely shelves behind us. And then, as I say, it just goes on and on and on, which is brilliant. I absolutely love it. So this is your pink option with the Riley Blake. Just a quick reminder. They're brand new in today and they are absolutely beautiful. 100% cotton. £29 at 96 pence. We need to actually introduce you to Elliot as well soon. Okay. So, my pick. 
uh, was this one. Did you hear Hannah? We had a bit of a competition going, don't get me wrong. Her autumn bundle was brilliant yesterday. It completely sold out. One of my favourite bundles that we have here is this one. So I asked to put this into the show. Um, what I love about this is that if you go to a fabric shop, there aren't very many shops that will give you this many shades of pink. Quite often you'll have one or two, or maybe a, a lighter and a darker, but here you've got six different shades of pink and they are beautiful. You've got three meters of fabric overall and they're absolutely gorgeous, 20 pounds and 49 pence. Half a meter of each of these, these are your pink to peach. Hannah, I don't know what you can see in there if you can see the breakdown of things. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh. Well, at least you didn't scream like I did when I just came on the camera this morning. I'm so sorry. £20.49. Does it just flick back to me at the end of the break then? Without counting down? Ah, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? No, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I, it, I was only literally standing here waiting to come back on. <laughs> Right, so the colours that you can see here are blush. I might not do it in this, uh, I might not tell you which ones are which. I think that one's your blush. Blush, bright pink, coral, peach, pomegranate and raspberry. All of your half metres. I just wanted to let you know which ones are which in case there's one that you wanted by the half metre, they're available on the website. That's three metres of fabric, which is a lot. I mean, it's quite deceiving, isn't it, when you sort of see them um, all folded up like this, but together, I mean, there's loads, loads of fabric, three whole metres. So if, in fact, I'd like to show you, if you go to www.sewingstreet.com, we've still got our same website at the moment, which we're sharing again with our sister channel, Jewelry Maker. So it will redirect you to Jewelry Maker. If you type it into the bar, your search engine at the top, sewingstreet.com. Um, ah, okay, so if you type it into the bar at the top, sewingstreet.com, then it'll redirect you to this, which was uh, the Jewelry Maker website. Don't worry, you're not in the wrong place, you are still with us. And all, uh, all of our stock is there, so you can watch us live. If you press play, you'll just hear me twice, so I won't, we don't want to hear that. So if you press play, then you'll be able to watch us. You can subscribe to our newsletter. And then, if you keep going down, so you can shop the catalogue or you can see all the products from today's show. It starts with a few machines, but then you'll see all of the picks from our hour now. There's the Riley Blake. There's the bundle from the last hours with Wendy. Uh, the beautiful brand new fabrics and you can see them by the half meter as well the bugs in the bag very very popular indeed there's my pink bundle there it is so you can find them there underneath also can i show you oh hang on you're teasing us now these are all of our products coming up next hour you can just shop ahead if you want eagle eyes on the web already checking out on loads of the products from today the doggy bags from yesterday's show are on there. My um, my mom has already ordered one of these for my sister. Yeah, love them, absolutely love them. If you scroll back up to the top, could you do me a favour, Elliot? Could you type in a hundred percent cotton? The reason that I'm saying this, so at the top there, if you type in 100% cotton, then you'll see all of our half meters. We haven't got time this hour to show you every solid that we have, but 100% cotton it will take you to all of our half metres. Um, bits, a few bits of jewellery in there as well, which is fine. But also, you'll be able to see all of those solids. Um, but this is what's so good about these bundles, because sometimes it's a bit difficult, isn't it, to be able to see what colours are going to work well together or what shades they actually are. So we've tried to put together these beautiful bundles of all of your pinks. But there you go, they're always there on the website. So I just thought I would remind you, if you're thinking, right, I'm nearly at that £40. I just need to spend an extra £4 or something to tot the total over £40. You can just get half a metre of fabrics for your stash. It's never going to go to waste, is it? Um, even if they're not on today's show, you can absolutely use anything from the website to be able to get that discount code. So that's £20.49 and pence for all three metres of your beautiful 100% cotton quilting weight pinks. Okay. 
Oh no, we don't need to do this as a competition, Hannah. So obviously that was my pick. Hannah's saying, should we do my bundle now? Do you know what I love about this as well? It's like Neapolitan ice cream. It's, it's just so beautiful. Your baby blues, your baby pinks, your sherbet colours. They remind me of lovely sorbets and ice cream and candy colours. I love them. £13.49. This candy blue, beautiful lime spearminty green, baby green, baby pink and lemon as well for £13.49. Remember that is two whole metres of fabric, half a metre each, already pre-cut, ready to go. £13.49. I think that there's always room for pastels and in fact actually, do you know if you've got any of the Riley Blakes? Just mixing them in with your pink or your blue, even from the, the blue range. Or what about your greys? Let's have a look with the greys. They make your designer fabric go that extra mile. They really, really do. They, they make your designer fabric sing as well. Just teaming it with a solid. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love some very contemporary quilts that are just simply big box of colour. I also love, we were talking about free motion with Wendy earlier on. Having a bit of play with quilting on solids is great. But whether it be for lining or backs of cushions or to applique it onto, or to have in your patchwork along with some of the other scale prints, it just breaks it up and makes, well, <laughs> I say it makes your designer fabric sing. Hannah's telling me I must disclose that I can't guarantee that your fabric will start singing. <laughs> 13 pounds 49, thanks for that, Hannah. Well, you don't want it to have a Hannah's singing voice, my word. <laughs> 1349. I don't think I've ever heard you sing really properly. How are you guys getting on in the gallery? I must say as well, this is the first time that the team have been in a big gallery together. Obviously still socially distanced, um, but we can do social distancing very easy here. It's huge. Um, Hannah, obviously in our temporary studio, in our old studio, was upstairs in Chloe, who is the sales manager of Jewelry Maker. She was uh, obviously working from home, so Hannah moved into her office upstairs and she said, I did get used to, you know, working on my own in, um, uh, in, in an office upstairs. And you had a lovely window, didn't you? And now you're in a proper TV gallery. Real TV galleries, very, very dark, very dark. Um, so, four half metre pre-cuts. Brilliant, brilliant price on those as well. We talked about Orifil at the start of the show earlier on when we were talking about our discount codes. Uh, if you are thinking about, you know, how to, to really make the most of the discount codes, maybe think about things that you were wanting to try, but with a t £10 discount makes it possible. If you've got another couple of bits, maybe a half metre or two half metres, in your basket, then you'll be able to get these with a discount. I believe that they are 35 99 so they're nearly there at that £40 mark. Maybe your glue pen, add in your glue pen, or why not add in your Fiskar scissors that we're gonna show next, or just even a couple of half meters of fabric. These are all big brand names that you wouldn't necessarily expect with a discount. And look, these are huge, huge spools. You've got white, black, grey and cream. Can I keep these for the studio? I think we could do with some of these anyway and I want you to see that they don't have like a, they don't have a sheen to them so I just want to show you without the plastic if that's okay. You have loads, loads and loads and loads of thread on here. In fact, let me tell you, you have 1,300 metres on each spool which is amazing. They are beautiful quality cotton, all 100% Italian cotton. Sorry, I'm just being very careful. Um, you can take this off, you can take this off, your, the end of the thread is then at the bottom um, to put onto your, uh, onto your sewing machine and then the cap then goes back on and you've, you've found your end instead of really trying to find the end. It's quite, sometimes quite difficult, isn't it? Um, so all of your useful colours, these are ones that absolutely you can use still in your sewing machine, in your bobbin, these are your 50 weight, which is the most universal thread weight. Can use it for hand sewing, absolutely. If you're doing English paper piecing, I recommend the grey uh, as it blends in with all of your different fabrics beautifully. 
It's such stunning quality when you're talking about big brand names like Aurifil. The value for money on this is absolutely fantastic. You've got 1,300 metres on each and we're at £35.99. It's a lot of, it is a, a, a lot of thread, isn't it? It is a lot of thread. Um, maybe you're not going to use this for every project if you're using it for best, but even those of you that... Uh, break it down and work out the maths of how much you spend on your uh, more affordable spools. 1,300 metres on each is fantastic value for money. As I say, these are your necessities, the house collection from Oroville for £35.99. Remember, use the code, use the code. If your basket totals over £40, you can use that code to get ten pounds off i don't get to do this offer very often so um i did really 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 want to make the most of that um and, and keep reminding anybody who's just tuning in with us to make the most of it because that is such a huge huge saving isn't it right so talking of big names in the bra in the uh in the industry orifil obviously being one of them when you're talking about quality cotton threads when you're talking about scissors the household name Fiskars. So, these when we launched the show back in um, when was it? Back in February, fourteenth of February, we launched Sewing Street officially. We had meetings with Fiskars, and they they said, right, we want you to have some really great products, great price to to launch your channel. And this was one of the first items that we brought to air. This was one of the the first times that we ever um, that we'd uh, that we'd had. Sorry, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that we have got that amazing relationship with Fiskars and right at the start, day dot, uh, in February, we had a meeting with Fiskars. They let us pick what products we wanted to bring on air at the best price. Okay. The universal scissors are perfect whether you are a dressmaker, whether you are a bag maker, whether you are a quilter, whether you do um, home furnishing, soft furnishing, Anything that you do, you need a good pair of scissors. At £14.99, I don't necessarily... Oh, these are the left-handed graphics, I think. Um, you don't necessarily think of the uh, top brands, do you? £15 for a real top pair of fabric scissors is fantastic value. These are your right-handed. Don't worry, lefties. It's mine and Hannah's pick, and we are both left-handers, so we have got some left-handed scissors for you. Same price, though. These are the right-handed ones. 24 centimetre blade for £14.99. Fantastic value for money, and we all need a good pair of scissors. When I first started in the craft world, I think I was a bit shocked by how protective everybody was of their scissors. I started doing surveys of how many scissors every guest designer that entered the building, how many scissors do you have, was my first question. And it was, I was baffled. I think Debbie Shaw was telling me she's got over 20 or 30 pairs of scissors. And they all have got different uses. Maybe you're using these as your paper scissors, or maybe you're using these as your finest fabric scissors. Do not think that because of that price point that they are lower quality. They are beautiful quality Fiskars blades, 24 centimetre blade. Um, they just cut so gorgeously. When you're going through that designer fabric, maybe your new Riley Blake for the first time, and you don't want to slash your fabric, you want to make sure that you're getting that accuracy and precision, £14.99 for those universal scissors and you know that you've got the best in the business. Hi, Lynn. How exciting for you all. Oh, I must say, we were like Harry Potter cramming into the cupboard under the stairs for the last seven months. We said, right, when we moved in, it was like going to be about three or four weeks. And then obviously what happened in the world, we had to uh, be like the annoying siblings of uh, jewellery maker saying, you know, we said, can we just use your broom cupboard for the next few weeks? Can we please like stay here for seven months? We didn't expect to be there for seven months, but um, I must say we, we really did sort of, we loved our old studio and our technical team did a great job to get us, uh, you know, go transmitting live out of the little cupboard under the stairs at Jewelry Maker. So it feels very surreal to have our own space, doesn't it? It feels really, really strange, but also so exciting. So exciting. It's very exciting. She said, oh, it is a really new, exciting chapter for Sewing Street. And yes, 
Keep your eyes peeled for Yarn Lane as well. Um, I know Elliot, who you'll meet in a moment, he's he's working on that uh, that department as well. It's all in the making at the moment. Obviously, we wanted to make sure that we get on air. Every single time I say to you, we're literally like swans and there's so much going on behind the scenes. You see me or you see Debbie, you'll see Bex tomorrow. But actually, there are so many people who are working in the office tirelessly. The technical team that have been working behind the scenes all night to be able to get us live today. So exciting. So, right, Hannah's bundle. This is a message from Pauline. Hannah, well done again. That great pick on the lovely pastel, she said. She's done it again. She's done it again. These are your pastels, which are so beautiful. You've got here your lemon, which is that lovely, like a sorbet lemon. It's so pretty. You've got your pink. I think this one's called Spearmint. And I think this one's called Baby Blue. Um, we'll find out the names of them. £13.49. pence. That's two meters of your solid pastel fabric bundle and they are so so beautiful bex reed's going to be so excited tomorrow as well you've got delphine and bex tomorrow you've got gary from dukey um of course we are um continuing the block a week on friday i've got delphine with me we've got loads planned for you all over the weekend debbie's going to be back oh she's going to have so much fun dressing all this set isn't she because there's loads of set to dress <gasps> lemon mint pink and powder blue half a meter of each already pre-cut for 13 pounds and 49 pence can i just give you a quick reminder by the way there's less than 10 of those mega bundles of your annie downs bundles that's it less than 10 and it's a brilliant brilliant price bearing in mind you're looking at so much fabric loads and loads of fabric and uh, it's the first time that we've ever used the disc uh, well, well we've ever discounted it so you can use that code new studio to get 10 pounds off your annie downs bundle of anything any of your baskets that total over 40 pounds you get 10 pound off brilliant isn't it just to celebrate just to celebrate our new lovely home we're literally just down the road i want to say half a mile a mile down the road Okay, all of these fabrics uh, at a brilliant, brilliant price. Now, sorry, because um, I did talk about the Fiskars, the left-handed scissors, of course, when we're talking about mine and Hannah's picks, we're both left-handed. We could not leave you out, lefties. Do not worry. So, the way of obviously um, seeing normally, traditionally, it's different with some of the scissors, um, but traditionally, you recognise Fiskars scissors by having the orange handles. These have got a red handle for lefties. So £14.99. And these are, again, your universal scissors, slightly smaller than the 24 centimetre ones that we had. These are your... Uh, these are your 21 centimetre classic scissors. Still great if you're using them for dressmaking. Still great if you're using them for bag making. Um, of course, fantastic if you're using them for, for, for any of your general sewing needs. Just 14 99 Obviously, um, <laughs> I didn't realise how protective everybody was of their scissors when I first started a few years ago. Now I get it. You need the right tools for the right job and the right scissors for the right job. You don't send a, a plumber out to work with a spade. <laughs> Couldn't think of another tool then. But you don't. You need to have the right tools for the job. Um, no, you wouldn't send the electrician to fix the, fix the sink. Um, but what I love about a pair of scissors is we all need them as crafters. They are quite a, a universal tool that we all are going to use and all going to need in everyday sewing. But it's about having the right tools for the job. So have a pair for paper. Have a pair for your fabric. Have a pair for, you know, maybe if you're doing... Um, heavier weight fabrics or if you want them for denim things like that or leather 14 pounds and 99 pence they are your 21 centimeter scissors and therefore us left handers hello lynn lovely message from lynn oh it's our lynn by the sea in cornwall oh i love lynn by the sea in cornwall hi lynn she says hi vicky how cool is it? Our studio is really fab. It's huge, Lynn. I can always hear myself echoing in here. Can you hear like an echo? It's so strange. It's so loud. Oh, go on. No, go on. Now you have a couple of kitchens. Yeah. Come round for a couple, Lynn, any time. When you're up in the Midlands, let us know. She said, good luck in your new studio. Oh, look. I mean, it's huge, isn't it? 
it's so exciting. We've got what I love is that at the moment, don't get me wrong, Elliot's done a fab job. I've I've given him enough stick about putting the shelves up, but he's done all these lovely shelves, but we've still got so much space to be able to hang quilts and put all of your bags up and wall hangings. It's going to be so lovely to just see this over Christmas as well. We've got plenty of space to put a big Christmas tree. It's going to be lovely. Right. We've got some panels. We've got some more fabrics. Panels. We've got our mixers to do. This one. This is our, flan uh, our flannel, our flower show panel. It's extra wide. It's exclusive to us. And you are getting basically like a design roll or a jelly roll, depending on what design you're looking at. I'm going to show you this way around so you can see that ombre of colour. It goes right from, oh, this is such a big desk, I'm not used to it. Um, it's from your pinks to your purples to the green so you've got all of these gorgeous colours and I love that almost arts and crafts a bit William Morris a bit Liberty-esque print it's stunning it's exclusive to us you've also got a bit of wiggle room so we've got lines in between white lines in between if you do want to cut these into your perfect two and a half inch strips I know a lot of patterns call for two and a half inch strips maybe you want to do a bargello like yesterday or maybe you want to do an around the world quilt if you want to do a well any of Pam and Nikki, Lind Pam and Nikki Lintock designs there, there's loads of their books that say two and a half um, strips you could also keep the white in and you could pin tuck between those white sections and you could do like a bolster cushion or you could do a binding you could do a bias binding on the slant like this you could cut on the bias and then you could keep the white in or of course you could do a straight by a binding and keep the white in as well so there's so many options with this. Now, normally when you're looking at a jelly roll or a design roll, you're looking at a normal width of fabric, which is 112 wide for quilting weight fabric. This is 140 wide. So look, it goes on and on and on and on. It is a big panel. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think 16. 16 different strips and they're all in that beautiful ombre of colour as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm seeing them as strips, but how about if you do do EPP? We were talking about EPP earlier on. If you want to do English paper piecing, the pattern that you'll see in a second is really, really, really beautiful and detailed. And you could do some lovely hexes with this, couldn't you? You can subcut them into strips, subcut them into squares, and you can do hexes with that really beautiful print. Oh, how, can we just test out how amazing our new cameras are? Oh my word, this is getting a bit scary how close I can get. That is so good. Just so you can see the quality of the printing, how it's still defined, how the colours are beautiful. I tell you what, we are loving these new cameras. Oh, it's so exciting. So this is the only panel that we have from the Flower Show range today in our picks. It's just £19.99 and it is exclusive to us. All of these 16 strips for less than £20. <laughs> How exciting. If you get, uh, remember, if you do get a couple of these, use the code, you get £10 off. You spend over £40, you get £10 off. Uh, right, let's do the other design roll. The British design roll that we saw earlier on with Wendy, it's exclusive to us, it's absolutely beautiful. What I love about it is that it's half, so you're getting lots of different prints on here. So if you see what I mean, this one, the prints went all the way across the 140 width, whereas this, it's half the way across and then it changes to another print. So there you go, you can see you've got the spot, and then it stops halfway through and then it goes into the floral. So it stops halfway through and changes print again. So you get loads of different prints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen different prints. All beautiful colours. Exclusive to us, 140 wide. You've got the gingham print, the spot print, you've got the stripes with the flowers. You've got that great detail again. This one is so pretty. I wonder whether we can come and have a look closely at this one too, because you've got lovely flowers. 
thank you. You've got really, really beautiful flowers and the stripes, all of the spots. If you've got it, um, if you got one of Wendy's bundles earlier on, then you'll already have this in your kit. And there's your blues with the flowers. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Just, just £9.99. What? Hang on. Why is that so low? Surprise! That's another one of Hannah's specials. Oh, Hannah, you can't get away with that again. She's like, oh, it's my surprise. She just loves her fan mail. After yesterday's show, she had so many messages about that autumn bundle that she, it's gone a bit to her head and now she's just saying that everything is her call. Um, I love that though. That is beautiful. That was especially for VE Day. It's beautiful. Exclusive to us as well, which is exciting. Let's, let's think about it. How much you pay for a design roll? Well, we know, even with our barley pops, which we love, by the way, oh my word, remember, they're 39 99 So if you've got them and something else, just half a metre of maybe what, your brown or your tan or something, you could get your barley pops for £10 off. Um, the squares panel, which is exclusive again to us, has got a really lovely, almost retro-y feel to it. Oh, I love it. It looks like fried eggs. <laughs> Fried egg flowers. You'll see what I mean in a second. Yeah, I'm not just going crazy, I promise. We all did have a um, little sleep last night just with excitement. It was like Christmas. But let me hold this out. So you've got how many squares on here? Oops, it's all right. These are my, uh, my fried egg flowers. <laughs> They're great, aren't they? So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of your 5-inch squares. It's like your charm pack, isn't it? It's fantastic. 20 coordinating fabric squares. If you're thinking of doing English paper piecing, how many different fabrics would you have to buy to be able to get all of these different contrasting? Even if you're just doing simple patchwork and you're, you're, you're stitching them together in squares or half square triangles, it's going to look great together, isn't it? $7.99 again exclusively to us. Let me shimmy it across again so you can see all of these different scales of print. We've thought about the different tones and colours that work together. Different scales of prints from a ditzy prints to the larger scales. See what I mean though? I love this retro y feel to it. Do you know who would love it? Fiona Hesford. She would absolutely love this. Only £7.99 for your full panel that is a lot for your money isn't it 7.99 okay have you got brekkie hannah little banana break okay we've got the ah the pasta one Pastel, yes, right. So you know Hannah's pastel bundle. If you got that, which so many of you did, get this as well because this is going to go perfectly. And it will just add a little bit more interest again. You'll get all of these beautiful little ditzy prints. Uh, Cat, this is the one that we called the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's so cute. It's like 80s, 90s, really cool little ditzy prints. I love, love, love it. And let me just show you with Hannah's bundle. With Hannah's bundle, how well does this go? It's just literally the same colours. Absolutely perfect. Told you she's got a good eye. Uh, just £12.99, you're getting 16 strips, all coordinating, beautiful colours. It says eight strips, but remember they're split in half. So halfway through, let me show you there, they change print. So even though you've got, yes, eight full strips, you've got 16 different prints. You've got all of these different colours and different prints, which are beautiful you've got all of your little notions your little square dots your stars your squiggles £12.99 brilliant price again bright panel up next which is again really cool this would look nice with my pinks actually what do you mean you forgot about my pinks She's very competitive, our Hannah. I'll lay it down again so you can see the colours. Is that the best way of showing you? Oh, sorry, did I hit my microphone then? Um, let's do these lovely bright colours. Oh, wow. These are really lovely and bright, aren't they? Great pops of colour for summer. 
mix them in with any of your solids. How about just doing lots of strip piecing and doing Bargello? They'd look amazing together. That rainbow of colour, I know, over the last seven months, <laughs> we've all been really admiring, of course, rainbows in everybody's windows and these beautiful bright colours. Been so lovely. Just £12.99 exclusive to us. That's your half stripes again. 140 wide. Loads of fabric for your money. Loads of different prints. £12.99. Do you know who I needed for this? And he won't come on air today. I, I've done everything in my power. He's so, so busy. And I've said, come on, say hello, Neil. But he's really, really busy today. He's in meetings galore. And obviously, um, he's been here. He was here before us. He was here before us. We, um, we came in at 6am this morning. Neil was already here with technical team. As I say, they've been here all night. So I think he, um, he'll come and say hello to you in the week. Now, our electric scissors. The reason I mention Neil is because I know that this is his toy, basically. Um, I thought of it as, as a bit of a gadget, a bit of a toy, a bit of a Neil lad's toy. But actually, this is so effective. I didn't realise just how good these were until I saw a cutting mat under the set um, just split into pieces that Neil cut on air once. Uh, but they are absolutely brilliant. So they come with two different blades. Now, I know Neil's done this before and I'm not going to do it on air because, um, yeah, I'll feel uncomfortable. But this isn't sharp at all. The way it cuts, I know he's sort of done it that it won't cut you, but I don't, I don't want to do that on air because I'll jinx myself and I'll end up, um, yeah. Hannah's like, no, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, do it. <laughs> but anyway, you can see that these are completely blunt, basically. Where this point meets the bottom, when I press the button under here, that's where it's, oh, here he is. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, do I want to borrow your finger to do it? Oh, I can't try and cut it off on telly. Neil's here. Come on, you need to come and talk about these. I don't know if you're mic'd up. No, no, you're not, not mic'd up, but I've got to be at a social distance, oh, yeah. so you've got to shout. Yeah, I'll just tell you how to try and cut my finger. I thought you can have a good one. <gasps> oh. I'll let you go on. Thank you. This could be the best live TV ever. <gasps> And it doesn't, literally is not cutting your finger off. You've got to do the cutting mat next. Oh, <laughs> if I start doing this with the millwood, I will get into a lot of trouble, wouldn't I? Because it probably will do it. You can cut through not only your fabrics, your denim, you can cut through carpets, you can cut through cutting mats, as we said, if you want. Uh, but there's loads. One second, let me just put some hand sanitizer. Thanks, Han. Okay, so I will just show you with some cotton. This is literally just your normal, quilting weight cotton but you can very quickly and very easily cut through lots of fabric but you can also debbie shaw was saying to me that she's really really surprised about how intricately you can cut around things as well which is fantastic so if i literally just press this trigger here it literally cuts through like a butter, butter, like a knife through butter, is that what the saying is? 169 pounds, I understand, is considered a hot knife through butter. But you'll be able to cut through so many layers in one go. You would be able, let's try and do loads of layers. Bag making, denim, quilting. Also, you can go through patterns, you can go through, um, I, I, mean, I mean, I'm just doing random lines here, but you can really get some uh, control around it as well. Because of the handle, it's really lovely and ergonomic. You can really get some great control if you're cutting around lots of different templates and patterns. But you saw me do it live on air. It isn't going to cut you. Oh, it feels so weird to even try and do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> It feels against your nature, doesn't it, to put your finger in the pair of scissors and press the button. So I'm not going to do it, but you saw me do it, Neil. It isn't going to cut you. It's only literally when... Um, <laughs> it's only where the two meet that that's where it makes the cut, which is amazing. So I've got the box here. Let me show you what else you get in here. You have, obviously, your tool. You also have your charging point. Your charging point, it just literally plugs in and charges away. You then also get 
a second blade. They're both named A and B. Um, one is called blunt and one is um, sharp. Basically, it will talk to you more in the instruction manual. It will talk to you more in your instruction manual about where to use which ones. Blunt one isn't blunt, but it will be for your lighter weight fabrics. Whereas your sharp one, you'll be able to get through loads and loads and loads of layers. So they're the two different blades. It will talk you through in your instruction, manu in your instruction manual. £169, and remember this is a key opportunity. Those of you that have seen Neil talking about this, as I say, this is his toy. This is, I'm surprised I've been allowed on air with this today because this is his toy. Um, but if you do want to, I say toy, it's a very, very fancy toy, isn't it? A gorgeous electric pair of scissors, cordless as well. But if you do want to use the discount code, you get £10 saving today. When you're spending £40, so you'll get these today for £159.99. Definitely worth having a go with them. Remember, you've got your money back guarantee as well. If you've never seen them before, um, Watch Neil demoing these. As I say, he goes through loads of different fabrics. He brings on lots um, onto air so you can see them demoed properly. New Studio is your item code number. And lots of things selling out today. I think this item code, so many people have been checking out using that item code, uh, discount code. Uh, the Bugs in the Bag in blue is completely sold out. If you still want that Bugs in the Bag, there's the green option, I believe, still available. It's underneath us on the website. The king size cotton wadding is sold out. Queen size available. If you missed out on the king size, you can still get the queen size, don't worry. The LED light box, the A3 is about to sell out, it looks like. If you've got it in your basket, I urge you to check out over the next couple of minutes. Um, there's a few other fabric bundles and things like that. The extra large cutting mat sold out. It's so, so busy. Thank you so much for supporting us and being here with us on our, our first day in our new studio. It's been really surreal. It's been really lovely. And we've still got an hour to go, remember, with our beautiful Wendy. She's going to be back and... It's next to the other houses. You can probably see it. Do you want, shall I come over? Let me show you. Come on with me and you'll see what we're going to be doing in the next hour. Ooh. Am I coming back or staying here? Stay there. <laughs> we're going, come back, come back. Uh, new addition to Sewing Street, the latest addition to our doorstop collection. We've got the church for Sewing Street. Our Sewing Street is almost completed. I know that Hayley said this will be the last one for a while. We're taking a bit of a break from the, the doorstops. They've been really, 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 really popular. But then we're going to regroup and redesign some more as well. So we want your input as well of what you want next. But um, this is going to be the next project that we're going to be looking at with Wendy at 12, uh, sorry, at 11 o'clock, literally in the next couple of minutes. So, do not go anywhere. Pop the kettle on, be back with us, check out your baskets, have a look on the website and see what's available. Use that item code number or speak to the team, of course, and we're back with Wendy after this. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you.
Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. It's a sewing <laughs> <laughs> My favourite piece of kit with the sewing is the sewing with Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter. But I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back. I don't know where today's gone. It's been amazing, hasn't it? We've literally got an hour to go. So I'm just going to get straight into the kit because we want to spend as much time with Wendy and, and of course, read all of your messages as well. Uh, before we do anything, thank you so much for all of your lovely messages. Honestly, it's been overwhelming. It's made today go so, so ridiculously fast having all of your lovely messages. So we are doing the next step to our sewing street, building our sewing street, which is brilliant so we've got the florist obviously you can see all of the ones that we had uh, last time oh you might not be able to see but we've got the pet shop we've got the sweet shop we've got the florist uh, they're all underneath us on the website the haberdashery shop today we've got the church on sewing street and it is i know that i was talking to our Haley header tv this will be the last one for a while at the moment we're going to have to regroup and redesign and work out what's going to be coming next as well so we want your input of what will be coming next but first i mean look at the size of it it's amazing, isn't it? It reminds me so, so much of the church that I got married in last year as well. I'd love, love, love this. And we've weighed it down with some pellets. So you can have it as your doorstop or you could have it on the side as bookends or you can just have it as an ornamental, where, however you want it. It's a really great size. So in the kit, this is what we're making. Let me show you what you're getting. You have 
your pre-printed exclusive panel and what I love about this is the attention to detail there are so many beautiful elements to this you've got all of your stained glass windows you've got all of your beautiful the clock the bricks everything about this is just stunning isn't it it's not available anywhere else what's great is that it's all if I turn it round that you see so you've got church base it will tell you literally there's the church front tower it literally tells you what everything is but look at the beautiful colors they've used those stained glass windows are absolutely stunning you've got all of your flower beds your flower pots your watering can how amazing is it they're such beautiful quality brand new today so you get your panel you also get your instructions. We will go through these with Wendy, but they are exclusive to us. They're obviously different to the others because they're, it's a different shape. Um, but you've got everything that you need from your cutting out, your decorating the doorstop, pre preparing the doorstop pieces, attaching the tabs to the tower, filling the doorstop, adding the, the spire base, adding everything in, making the roof even. You've got it all covered in your very comprehensive instructions. They always include, obviously, your photographs as well. Plus, I said to Wendy, because obviously you get a lot of toy stuffing. I said, is that going to be enough to be able to fill it? Because it's huge. And she says, oh yeah, absolutely. So you've got enough to be able to fill your church with um, all of your toy filling. We have got a couple of extras as well. So that's everything that you get in the bundle, the panel, the instructions, and your toy filling. If you do want to weigh it down like we have here, because it's big, I think if you are going to use it, especially as a doorstop as intended, I would get the pellets. Now, these are your recycled polythene pellets, which are great. They really, really are. One, obviously, they're recycled. They're, 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 they are weighty. I mean, you're getting a whole kilogram, I think, there um, of your plastic pellets. And you're not going to have to pay any more for your postage and packaging either, which is a dream, isn't it? Normally, when you go to the post office, what's the first thing they do? Pop your item on the scales and they weigh it to tell you how much the shipping's going to be. Whereas here, no, already capped at £3.95 all day long. Uh, so, if you're buying a few things, I know that we're in the last hour of the live show today. Remember, this offer lasts all day long. If you're checking out maybe this evening, if you have got all of your uh, items that total over £40, don't forget to use the code NEW STUDIO. One transaction, so all of your basket needs to total up to, uh, to £40. When you use the word NEW STUDIO in the promo code, then you'll get £10 pounds off which is brilliant isn't it so this is what we're making absolutely huge i love it all of the other uh, shops on the street if you will um are all on the website we will run through some of them later on but uh they're all on the website but the church is brand new today uh, i believe it is appearing underneath us on the website you can see it there and this is what we're going to be making with our Wendy. It's £19.99. You get your instructions, you get your toy filling, um, all of your applique pieces, your panel, everything that you need exclusively to us for just £19.99. Uh, isn't it gorgeous? I mean, it's absolutely huge. I should have measured it, really, because it's... Uh, <laughs> Hayley came in and says, should we put it on the floor and you try and lift it? Because it looks like it's really, really weighty. Uh, and the design is so, so beautiful. Um, so, just giving you a chance to check out on your order. Just giving you a chance to check out of your basket. Well done, everybody. And thanks so much, I must say. We've had so many lovely messages. So many lovely messages. Keep all of your messages coming in for us. Wendy, how are you? Back, back, back. I've had coffee. You've had coffee. I mean, we were excited before and you've had a cup of coffee. Super excited now. <laughs> uh, this is a really, really big doorstop, isn't it? It's huge. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my favourite. Oh, it's just lovely. I do love all the detailing in the panels as well, and the colours are amazing, aren't they? And the fabrics are really lovely weight. The, these panel fabrics are amazing. They're really nice. So have you worked on any of these doorstops before? Have you done any of the others? I've made all the doorstops ah. after they've been designed, but this one, because it's got the, um, the tower on the front, 
There's a little bit of jiggling, so I've actually done the instructions for these. Um, but the artwork has been done by Lou, and she's amazing. She's amazing. fantastic. Oh, they are beautiful. And I mustn't forget Tom, because Tom has had probably 3,000 emails in his inbox, and he's been so patient with this, but uh, we finally got, we got there. Oh, it's incredible. So how is this different for anybody who's made any of the other doorstops? What other elements are we going to be included? It's literally the front. Okay. Attaching the front. If you were to take that off, then it would look exactly like the mm -hmm. other doorstops. It's constructed in exactly the same way. Yeah. It's just that bit at the front. You need to be able to join it together. So anyone that's already made these, super easy. Amazing. Shall we have, can we have a look at the panel then? Can we open out the panel just so we can show some of the detail? I've had a little notes. cut of this <laughs> one. <laughs> but it's, it is fantastic. Oh, I do love the colours as well that you use. Those stained glass windows are beautiful, aren't they? They are. They're gorgeous. And um, we, we've, we've added a seam allowance onto this one as well, so you don't have to do anything. Everything's oh. done for you. Right, what is the seam allowance? It's a quarter of an inch. Okay. So if, if you're a little bit over, that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't go anything under, um, because otherwise you're going to see, I don't know if you can get in closely here, you can see that around the edges there is a little bit of grey so from a distance you'd never be able to see it but if you do if you stitch the quarter of an inch you'll be absolutely fine uh, and they are directional some of them because these ones are really obvious because mm -hmm. they're a shape but for the tower here it's got the grass at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could always have it up the other way and then have like mossy drain pipes and mossy <laughs> gutters it's, if you want to, because churches do, don't they? Because yeah. it's, it's an old church, yeah. but it is directional, so these need to be. And what I've done, this is the reason, sorry that I couldn't give you any of my clips earlier because they're all on the front. Oh, right. I so label organising yourself. You, it's good, like with any project, I, I know that it's important to just, once you've, of course, cut everything out to organize it and this is one of those projects that I would it does take quite a long time to cut out so I would do that one night mm -hmm. and then you can concentrate because it's all about the sewing at the end of the day Absolutely. isn't it you could do it all in one if you wanted to but there is quite a lot of cutting out to do um, and then label them up because it's, it's quite obvious on the church what parts are what but on some of the others um, when they're the sides they're blank you don't know what they are so yeah just cut everything out and label it brilliant so what is it that you want to show us today i'm going to try and show try you try it all i always run out of time i do it's because i talk too much but so the first thing is cut out all your shapes and try and be as accurate as you can because yeah. uh, they've been designed tom has designed these so that they fit exact so if you mm -hmm. cut them out exact, they will fit. A little bit of wiggle mm -hmm. room, but they, they should be as exact as you can possibly get them. So with these ones, um, and I've done this part first because I can't remember, I think if you probably just type in my name and doorstops um, on YouTube, you will be able to find it because I did the applique last time. And it is quite self-explanatory. You just, uh, with, the, with the panels. Ah, could you show us the applique parts on the church? <laughs> Where they are. Right, actually on the church itself. Yeah. So, You've got the applique panel, and then, so you've got like your door, your door oh, here, you. and your windows, mm -hmm. and then you've got your flowers, and then... So you can personalise it and do all your flowers where you want, and yeah. It's entirely up to you, and, and what Tom's done this time, which I think is fantastic, in the back of the instructions, which I haven't got the instructions, I've yeah. made so many of these, so I do know what I'm doing, but on the back it's of right. the instructions, right at the back because it's that's it it's oh, got a great. placement guide which is fantastic so if you if you don't want if you want to do it exactly like i've done it then that shows you how to do it but of yeah, course well, you could do it how you want to do it lovely you could do it and then what you would do you would with this one there is quite a lot of fabric around the outside so me being me me and quite frugal i would actually roughly cut them out first and then you would put them onto your bond web mm -hmm. so you put it on you, you can feel one side feels really smooth and the other side is slightly rough so you would put the the slightly rough side you'd lay your fabric wrong side down on it mm -hmm. and then you would iron it and you can iron it on the back or you can iron it on the front and then you cut them out leaving a small gap around yeah you could cut them right up to them if you wanted to um, i like to have the stitching i don't want the stitching to, to show so what i would do is cut a little bit around the outside and then use a matching thread 
But if you're really bold, if you want to, you can use a contrast. So, as with every project, once it gets back to you, you can do what you like with it. So, I have done the applique first, and it's just a case, if you can see here, I've cut. You just bring it over slightly again, thank you. That's it, perfect. Thank there you. There we are. So, I've cut a little bit around, and then what I would do is I would use a grey thread, a matching thread, and then just do a zigzag stitch. But as I say, if you go and have a look at the other tutorials, because last time I ran out of the roof, and it's the roofs that I want to actually show you how to do today. And then all I did, and I, I left them at home, because as I say, I have been up here a couple of days, and um, I've got the very Variegated, oh That's lovely, the one. I love the variegated Embroidery threads. threads. Yeah. And with this one, what I will just mention with, you get um, a green, I keep putting this on the floor and then kneading it, don't I? With this one, you get a block of green and that's for you to let your imagination run wild. You can cut out little bushes, you can cut out trees. If you see here, I've cut out quite a big bit out of it mm -hmm. because, oh, I love that. And if I'd have had my whist, my um, variegated, I would have used that. There's a beautiful purple in there. I would have had that and made it like wisteria. Oh, how gorgeous would that look? So my, my dad had a huge wisteria on the side of his house, and it was incredible. I love that. I love it. Um, do you know, my dad was um, a film star. Go on. No, hang on. No, he wasn't. He was a what? He starred in a film. Go on. Starred in a film. But it's quite a big yeah. thing. Go on. Dad's army. He was in Dad's army. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah, he was the old, the old, the old. Yeah, older. yeah. He was um, when they're in the church. Gosh, go on. When they're in the church, um, bit waiting to be rescued. There's a man drives on in a big yellow dust cart. Oh, that's your dad. That's my dad. Oh, we'll have to yeah. watch that. We'll have to yeah. watch it back. But he wasn't supposed to be in it. But it was such a hard vehicle to drive because <laughs> you had to do left and right and left and right. Um, so that's my claim to fame because I sat on most of the knees of the cars. Oh. So Clive Dunn, and yeah, it's fantastic. Oh. But yeah, he's the man in the yellow dust cart. Um, but he had this amazing wisteria. But I think that if you did that in purple, that'd look fantastic. And I don't know how close you can get in. Um, oh, we can get you really can get close. In. Cat's good. Is it is cat in there today? Um, I've actually used that same stitch that I used on my bag, the leaves, mm -hmm. on here. So I embroidered oh. first. So if you are going to do some hand sewing on that, I would suggest that you don't actually bond a web that because trying to go through the bond, bond web and well. the two pieces of yeah. fabric is quite hard. So I would just lay that on first and then put the stitching on um, so you don't need to do that. But that's our pieces. And as I say, I have labelled them all up. So the first thing that you're going to do, once you've done all those and you don't do, and it's all in the instructions, you don't do one of the end panels, and that's because that's where the tower is mm -hmm. going to be. So we want to pop the tower on first before we add the applique. And there's two, as you can see on here, sorry, there's two little windows either side here. Right. I've done it again. Two little windows either side. You'll notice on the instructions that that window's not there, but I just thought it looked really sweet, so I just stuck an extra window. And you do get more than you need. So we're going to pop these to one side for the moment and we're going to create the tower. This tower is amazing, isn't it? That's fantastic. I love that. I love the pointy roof as well on it. The, but the difficulty was joining the two together. So that's what I was wondering. Explaining how, how to join them, because it, it's okay. quite easy to do. So we, we found a really easy, really easy way to do. So you've got your tower pieces and you applique on three sides of them, but obviously don't do it on the back because it's wasted. You don't need to do it on the back ones because that's the one that's going to attach to here. So that's the blank one. And then we're going to attach it and we do that by making some tabs. Again, everything I say to you is, is it's like really comprehensive mm -hmm. instructions um, because they need, obviously, someone that hasn't done it before, um, they need to know how to do every single step. Oh, well, that's what's great is that you've got all of the photographs along the way as well. It isn't just text, it's all photos and everything, isn't it? I'm, I'm very visual. Yeah, I, I like think a lot of us creative people are, aren't we? So you can see everything that Wendy's doing, not only do you have all of your written text, you've also got loads of photographs as well. Because you don't actually want to get to the end mm -hmm. and then find that it doesn't look anything like the picture. So if you can check each step of the way, yeah. um, then it would be much easier for you. So I'm just going to give them a quick iron. See, I'm much more with it now I've had a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's already quarter past 11, can you? Where is today gone? Well, considering it's literally been a day near enough for us, because we've been up since half past five. So yeah, that's it. 
Prim Mini Irons, another good one, by the way, to make the most of with your discount. I think it's about £30, so if you do... Is it 20? Mm. 39.99, so all you need to do is... Well, actually, if you've got your post and package over the top of it... No. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. No, you have to total your order over 40. And then Hannah's like, no! <laughs> Thank you for the dramatic, no. No, you just need to make sure your order totals over the £40 and you post it in packaging over the top of that. Thank that you. That wouldn't be hard for me to do, that wouldn't. I've just bought one of the rulers, the, um, the long rulers. Oh, brilliant. Yes, I know you bought on uh, Bankology Monday, weren't you? Yeah. I did. They're brilliant, the creative grids. That one I've already made, but I'm just going to show you how to make it. Very, very simple. You just cut the size that it states to cut and then you put right sides together wrong sides together sorry and iron wrong sides together and it's exactly the same as when we made the little um, bag handle so you fold the center in and iron please be careful these irons are fantastic but you're working quite close to them you can get gloves can't you mm, you can have you tried them um there's the little silicon cap things mm. and there's also the iron finger which is good Ooh because that you use as an extra like silicon finger basically because <laughs> you do need to, to obviously leave it on there a little while to, to press it don't leave it too long you don't want to burn the fabric but that's why I, um, I've swapped because I had the big iron earlier I've swapped to this one this yeah. is on well not 24 7 because I'm not up to, I would be up <laughs> sewing if I could but all the time I'm sewing that's on yeah it's really handy having the mini iron because it's still really it's still really powerful it's not like having a travel iron is it it's still yeah. sorry that was me getting ahead with the thing you don't you don't do them on the oh, other right, side go on, sorry, sorry. What sorry. Are you, so you just what are you, you just you just do them in half okay sorry and then this is what I wanted to fold in so you open the end and then you just fold about a quarter of an inch but please do mind your fingers with this one. And all this is doing is just neatening the end up. That's all I'm doing this for. You don't have to do it if you don't want the end to be neat. And then we fold it together. And then we've created the tab with the two, the two ends are nice and neat now. So you don't have to if you don't want to. You're going to have to tell me for time today because I'm in a little bubble today. <laughs> I think I've been in a bubble all week. Oh, I know. We've all been just so excited that we have all been in this bubble. It's when I got the email, it's like, whew, I was very excited. And then all we're going to do is the one that hasn't got any applique on, we're going to position the tabs and we're going to do raw edge to raw edge. And you're going to place it down the bottom. Now, if you have a look on here, just pull it to one side you will see it literally is down the bottom and here mm -hmm. if you wanted to you could have it a bit further ah oh, right okay the only thing that you would have to do then is when you come to attach the tower just make sure the edge is a quarter up because we make the tower first before we attach it um, so that's what you want to do but we're putting the tabs on before we make the tower it sounds complicated but it really isn't so then I'm going to just clip this onto here See, now I can use the clips for what <laughs> yeah. they were designed for. <laughs> and you've noticed that, if you, I don't know if you notice on, on here, I, when I put my clips in, when I'm holding paper, I turn them around the other way because it's a bit flatter. Oh, right, that's a good idea, actually, because the one, the base part is completely flat, isn't it? It is. So, well, more or less, it's not, well, I think it is. So then we're just going to pop that in. And then all I'm going to do is just sew a tacking stitch because, again, um, try and make them nice and even. I just want them to have to take I just want to be able to take the clips away so I'm just making two pieces of fabric into one and I go as long as you go inside the quarter of an inch allowance they're not going to be seen and I'm increasing to 3.5 okay and then we go down the other one So I did have a little rest in my hour this time. I wasn't making anything. Oh, we've got a green little... room, dressing room, two kitchens out there. I discovered two, another two kitchen. Two kitchens. I did say earlier, I bought my tea bags and my milk, but are there any um, mugs and hellos? Have you not seen the other, other kitchen? Like, they're all mm -hmm. thinking, I mean, this kitchen. They're like, no, there's another kitchen. It's huge here. It's, it's brilliant. So exciting. The other place was lovely. Yeah. But it's lovely here, and especially having your own. So 
We now just pretend that's one piece okay. of fabric. And we're going to put them together and it's simply a case of putting them forming a, a square. Mm -hmm. So you just see the one at the back is plain and then I'm just following this one here. So I'm just going to put this one here then I'm going to put the front and then I'm going to put the yeah, side. Yeah, makes sense. So we put right sides together. Now it does say to do this and I would advise to do this step in the instructions. On every single piece mark a quarter of an inch in and I'm going to get, I'll get, oh, I'll get some of that little one. So that's got a quarter of an inch, isn't it? I am all the choice. Definitely stealing that idea. And then all I did for that one was I lined it a quarter of an inch from the edge and drew a line. And then I turned it around and I lined it up a quarter of an inch and drew the line. Okay. There is, some, on one of the um, tutorials, and I'm not sure which one it is, if you're not using a quarter, there is a way that you can work out how you need to get that corner point. You just sew um, a right angle and cut it out. But it is all on one of the tutorials. So you do that for most of the pieces. It's not all of them, but for most. Because what we're going to do, we're going to sew from one point to the next and that will leave the bottom open because if you're trying to get a base into something that you've sewn to the end of it's not going to fit mm -hmm. so i'm just going to sew from one to the one point to the other right sides together and this time just checking it's the right way up because i don't want moss on my gutters <laughs> that would not be a good look so i'm going to start on the little cross with my needle down and then i'm going to do um, a few you can either do a locking stitch or i like to do a few stitches and then just reverse back to secure and then all the way down to the other one. Are you going to be um, looking with uh, the team, with Tom and the team of designing more then? I know that Hayley said we're having a little bit of a break with them at the moment whilst we design some more. We want some ideas as well. Yeah, oh good. They're, they're, yes. they're such fun to make. So now I've put uh, one of the sides onto the back. So now I want the front. So again, right sides together. And I'm going to be sewing between the two crosses. So just yell at me about time because I do get in a little bubble when I'm sewing. And again, just a straight stitch. Just a straight stitch. And it's this, I've, um, I've not put it down, but it's fine. Put it down to like 2.4, 2.6 because it's going to be a seam. So you don't want any little okay. gaps showing in your stitches. You can pin if you like, um, because the pieces have been at uh, their precision designed, um, you, you shouldn't really have to pin them, but if you want to, that's absolutely fine. Just gone a little bit over the edge there, so I just need to take those stitches off. It shot away with me, I forgot to press the button. Ah, so you just need to make sure that you yes. stop at that quarter of an inch. <laughs> we do as you say, not as, we, not as you do. Just got a little bit overexcited then the machine, so just cut that end off. Yeah, because if you don't leave that the bit at the end, you won't be able to get the base in neatly. Okay. And then all we need to do is put the final side or right side together, and it doesn't really matter which one you do it to. But we're just going to do it to this one. Now the church is actually made in exactly the same way, so if we don't quite get time, I will try and get it done. Oh, it's only 25 past 11. I know, we've got plenty of time, but like you say, there's really comprehensive instructions and it's the same as all of the other shops, it's just the tower that's the The tower difference. is the difference, yes. That was better. And then all we do is we're going to put, to close it, so we're going to put that one to that one. So okay. it's on the right sides, and again, we're just sewing between the two marks. I love making these, they're such fun to make. And do you think, you know, I think they look lovely, like we've got them on our shelves in your workroom or having them as little, you don't, you don't necessarily need to use them as a doorstop. I wouldn't stop. have it, I couldn't have it as a doorstop in our house because we have a dog. Ah, uh, yeah. Who just, every time he meets you, has to give you something mm -hmm. and this will be the first thing he picks up. So if you do have a dog and you're thinking, well, this project isn't for me, there's loads of other ways that you can still use these. Oh, no, no, it's just my dog, probably. <laughs> probably other dogs behave. It's just, he's always done it. Bless him, he was a rescue and he's never been able to give things up, but uh. because he's a lab he always wants to bring something to yeah. you but no um, as I say most dogs you wouldn't have an issue <laughs> with oh labs though are great like you say they always want to bring things to you I remember um, someone I know who had a, a Labrador he got them trained to bring the slippers over and all sorts well he does 
the washing with me every morning. Oh. But he's, we've got, you can go round in from, because it's in my office, so you can yeah. go round in a, a square and he'll drop it on the floor, get his biscuit, and I'll turn round and when I'm not looking, he'll grab a bit and he'll go the full circle again and then just drop it just to get another biscuit. Oh, my kind of dog actually. Clever, my clever kind of dog. Dog. So now we've got the uh, tower and again, this will make a difference whether you're doing the top or the bottom because in the bottom you leave a gap for turning and stuffing. Right. And then in the top you don't because we're just going to add a little, little spire on the top. I'm going to make that but I just... I wanted him stuffed just so that you could see. Brilliant. So I'm just going to choose, doesn't matter which one, and this happens to be the bottom. So I'm looking for The my moss is the bottom. It's the bottom. You don't want mossy tops, do you? <laughs> so this is my spire base. And then all we do here is, again, these are... That's the spire, sorry, I want the... Ooh. I want the tower. The spire's a bit bigger because he, he's, he's a bit... So he fills the top. Mm -hmm. So now we've got the, um, the tower base. So we're going to put right sides together. And as you can see, I've marked each corner because now we're just going to line the sides up and they will fit because, as I say, they've been cut to exact size. And I'm just going to sew from, again, in between the, uh, the marks. This time I'm gonna start here and go to that end all the way round and then finish and leave a little gap. You'll find it much easier if you start at one of the corners. So make sure, concentrate on the sides, don't worry about anything else at the moment, and then just sew down to, the, to that corner mark that we've marked a quarter of an inch in. It just feels so huge in here, doesn't it? I know, it's so lovely. So I've sewn to the quarter of an inch mark, and now, I'm going to forget about that side, I'm going to concentrate on this side. So I just line this side up. I think this was the one I went a little bit too far with. So I line that side up, which now fits, and then I just tuck that corner in out of the way before I start sewing. Would so you that's all at I'm home going to do. press your seams a certain way? Would you press at this point or not? I wouldn't at this no. point, no. You don't need to. Okay. I guess you can if you want to, but, yeah, but you don't need to. So and I love ironing, it so that's unusual for me yeah. not to, because I love ironing. Not just like ironing with sewing. between pressing and ironing, isn't there? I hate ironing clothes, but oh, pressing no, is love, different. No, I love ironing. <gasps> I love ironing. Rarity. <laughs> not that I'd want to do anyone else's, because I have quite <laughs> a lot of my own. <laughs> so that's all. I'll just show you again. So I've just sewn between the two marks. And now I'm going to forget the side I've just sewn and I'm going to line these corners up and then you just tuck that corner in yeah. before you start sewing and then you start you sew from between the marks right it is very easy it looks, this is probably the more fiddly because it's the tiny tower base the church is much much easier to well, work that's with. It. if you've done a lot of if you've done like the florist or the sweet shop or any of the others and this is going to be a really lovely project because you're still uh, you know you're going to feel the achievement of oh i know how i recognize this and I remember how to do this part but then you've still got some more and the only thing learn. is the tower and once you once you get your head around how it attaches it's it's really not difficult Sewing should not be difficult. Sewing should be fun, shouldn't it? And it, things are always difficult at first. But because you have got those pictures there to, to have a look at, then um, you'll be able to check that you're doing everything right every step of the way. Yeah. And it does come together really quickly. Mm -hmm. I think this one, it was the cutting out that took um, more time because obviously you've got more bits to cut out. I'm just going down that final side. But what I love about having the panel, the pre-printed panel, is that you don't have to worry so much about the measuring and the getting the, you know, when you get a pattern, it's so much easier having it all there on one panel, isn't it? I know the cutting I'm takes longer, but you've got it fan. there. I'm such a fan. Yeah. Uh, well, when you say, you've still got to cut it out. Yeah. Even if you're doing it by a pattern, mm. you still have to cut it out, wouldn't you? Yeah. Whereas here... You just go, yep, yeah, that's what I need. But as I say, do label it up because then it'd be much, much easier when you come back the next day. And you've got the little day. on the markings on um, the panel itself that say, say, church front tower. You could even trim around that and clip it to it, can't you? I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could write it out, but do you know, what I didn't mean? think of that. That, that probably would have been. It. That would have been quicker than me cutting out the little pieces of paper and writing on them. So that's a very good idea. That's that's a nice big top tip for today, Thank isn't you. it? <laughs> so you do. The, so that's the the base, and you can see that I've left 
probably, well, enough to be able to turn it, go as bold as you can, but I, I like hand sewing, so I don't mind sewing a little bit more, but you need to be able to pull it through. Okay. One note is if you want to put pellets in the bottom of the tower, yeah. leave a bigger gap. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to for this. The, the tower doesn't need pellets. I've put them. I Have you made yourself a little them. sack to put the pellets in? Just going downstairs, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the pellets oh, are there. available separately, but you can make yourself, oh yeah, this is a good oh, idea. You're gonna you're gonna love this. You are gonna love this. So I, me being me, I use the inside of a cushion. The you know the I can't think yeah, what that Yeah, yeah, the called. inner the almost um, what's the fabric? No, it's the <laughs> You know what we mean, the inner bit of a cushion that's a bit I can't think what it's called. Or you could use some net. Obviously, if you use net, it can't have holes in it. It's okay. got to be a closed weave net or just an old scrap piece of paper. And then it was a simple, don't even need to turn it inside out. No one's going to see it. Little tip, and you are going to love this. You've got your pellets. Could I put it in like an old sock or something? Look. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's from your print mini iron, isn't it? It's perfect. Oh, brilliant. I, I've made cardboard cones and paper cones and funnels and all of them just sent them flying. All you need is a little jug. Oh, you need it was a little jug. There you go, that comes with the prim mini iron. Brilliant. And you just tip it in. Good so idea. That, that is my top tip and it has saved me lots of, I just saw feet treading on them, but they, these are the best invention ever. And as you say, they're recycled. Five ninety nine. Re that's it. Re They've been recycled, haven't they? Are they recycled? Yeah, they're recycled. So again, pellets. that's perfect for me. Absolutely. Well, you get loads and you don't need very many. Like you've just put... Yeah. That, that's it. Because what you one want to be able to do is just put it in the base. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't waste it putting it halfway up unless you really, really wanted it weighted. Um, so I've just put enough to put in the bottom and then enough to put just to weight it down. And if... I say well, you, so you can't feel it now because I've got it, but you can just... There's you can not hear much, it. Yeah, there's yeah. not much in there. And then you can use it for loads of other projects. Fantastic. Yeah, you get loads for £5.99 and only one postage and packaging. So we, what are we, um, do you want me to do the top or? Yeah, it's absolutely. Exactly, it's exactly the same. So shall I start making the chat? Yeah, we've still got plenty of time. Oh, okay, I'll put the top in then. See how fast I can put it in. It's exactly, it's exactly the same. Pro no, I tell you what, I'm going to attach it to here first because if we do run out of time, then... <laughs> So what we do is we turn this so it's got the top on. Mm -hmm. We've got about 20 minutes. I'll put the top in and <laughs> fix. That was my, that was your, get on with it. So you know in. when you've done it once, you've already stuffed one. You don't stuff it first though. That's just to show you what it looks like. Um, that, is that right? I mean that one? Yeah. No, this one, you make it first then stuff it. No, this goes on after. Oh, right, yeah, okay. So I just wanted to have a little Blue Peter style one that I made earlier because, cool. as I say, I always run out of time. I'm always going 90 miles an hour and never seem to get anywhere. So this one we don't leave a hole in because it's, um, we don't need to, we don't need to turn it because we're turning it through the bottom hole. Is it today? Is it? It's only Wednesday today, isn't it? Oh gosh, it's Wednesday. Okay. It is Wednesday already. This is going to be a day that goes down in our history books. It's been so exciting. So exciting. How do you feel about being the first guest in the studio? Well, can you imagine? <laughs> Even more excited because we'll. I mean, Neil's been. He's a, been a big tease, he has, hasn't he? <laughs> He's been like dangling oh, that old carrot for days, hasn't he? I must say, though, yesterday mm. when Neil put the picture up on the Facebook fan page saying mm. it's, we're, we're going to be moving in very soon, we looked at it after our show and we said there is no way we're moving in tomorrow. I mean, we're still putting the wallpaper up, there was still no sort of cameras, it was all still very much working through the day and the night to be able to make possible today. They've done an amazing job. And to be, ha well, the tea and coffee was already here, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You've had that for a little while. It's absolutely, it's just so lovely to have space to make a mess. Oh, I know. You always, you always manage to fill it, don't you? Oh. You always, even though you think, oh, we've got all this space, we've still already filled it, really. No, I think that's just me. <laughs> yeah, it's because Wendy's here with all of them. It's just me. I th there are some days when they come in my room at home and just do a U-turn and go straight back out yeah. because it's just like, oh, dear. But I can work like that as long as I uh, tidy it up before I go to bed. 
but yeah, organised chaos. It is. So I put the top on. Okay. And now we just turn it through the opening. Did you give yourself a good gap for turning? No. <laughs> and I gave myself plenty a... though. That's all right. <laughs> but it, it, just if you poke one of the corners out first and grab hold of it, and then you can give it a good pull, and then you get your pokey tool, which is a technical term, isn't it? But I've left out there, so I'm using <laughs> this instead. No, that's good. There's loads of different ones on the website as well. There's, I think, the Prim, um, Tell One. I think there's some that are around somewhere, but I don't know. I did have a, a scour and I couldn't find it, but that's okay. We can, we can manage. We have to find lots of new room for all of our lovely storage mm. because we've got loads of uh, for all of our tool storage for all of our... Uh, look at that, that's... They're great, that's aren't they? We've got loads of these. So, but we also thought we don't know how much we should put out, but it's great to be able to have all the tools really handy, isn't it? That is genius. That Good is. idea. Oh, hello. Who's that? Sorry, Pam. Hi, Pam. Pam's messaged in. Morning, Vicky and team. Good morning. She said, loving the new studio. You wouldn't believe this, but two weeks ago... I was speaking to a friend about my new sewing studio. Work in progress at the moment. But I envisaged a floating shelf with a bar underneath it to hang items on. Um, just like the one that we've got that Wendy's going to be stealing the idea mm. of as well. Um, I'm going to tell you it's from the food section in a certain Swedish shop. It's on the food section because I wouldn't know. Even, I was thinking, where are we going to get these? But I think it's designed for the kitchen. Uh, Pam's also said, Clive, Clive, are the shelves too difficult to put up? Well, I don't know about Clive, but Elliot put ours up, who's in the gallery, and he was telling us this morning that he's had to, because I was looking round and I said he's done a good job of filling all the holes in, because he's he spent ages looking for the bubble in his spirit level. He's coming to say hello, by the way. He's coming to say hello. Come on, oh. quick, come and say hello. I have to move out the way, show me out the way. But we've got enough room here to social oh, we distance have. all three of us. Oh. This is Elliot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Round of applause. He's too tall for our set, though, isn't he? It's set up for me and you, Wendy, exactly. and we're five foot nothing. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. It's not that it's too tall for Elliot, it's because we're short. <laughs> <laughs> we're like the, the borrowers in here in this huge I, I love the borrowers because when Hannah's here we're always talking about the bor borrowers yeah with our huge church our huge set <laughs> yeah. brilliant sorry anyway back to you <laughs> so I've made the tower mm -hmm. and I turned it inside out and poked all my corners out and now you'll see that the tabs that are on the inside are now on the outside ah okay yeah. so you want to iron them because you want to make this back panel as flat as you can get it so that it's going to sit against this section of the church now. So I'm just ironing those seams. So that's that's nice and flat now. That's made that as big as it possibly can. And then you just turn it over. And because this is already made now, you want to put it a quarter of an inch up because in a moment mm -hmm. we're going to be sewing that a quarter of an inch. And then you just centre it and this time I will have to pin because I can't clip. We're just going to pin it in place. Those tabs though, I'm just looking at the church, I mean I'm quite away, but they disappear into the church, don't they, on the tower? That was when, when Tom and I were working on it, that's one of the things that we wanted. So yeah. we wanted it to be attached, but we didn't want people to see how it was attached, yeah. obviously. No, you can't um, see. So it, 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 he's done a marvellous job with this. So I've now, I've pinned it into place and what I would suggest to do is so uh, which I have done on here is sew two lines so you sew one here and then that will stop the tab flapping about right and then if you sew one just inside try not to get on any of the tower at all because it will pull the side in slightly so you want to do a line just inside uh, because then that will hold it to the tower otherwise it will pop out a little bit ah, so I okay. want to do two. Oh gosh I've never worked so late <laughs> I know, your daughter's going to wonder where you Jeez, are. Jeez, bless her. Um, so I'm stayed in Stratford last night, didn't you? Were you in Stratford? Oh, I did, yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, she didn't. She's somewhere in a little shepherd's hut somewhere. <laughs> I hope we've got the address to go and pick her back up. <laughs> oh, it was so sweet, though. There was like little chickens running around. <laughs> but one with nature, I think you would call it. 
Oh, beautiful. So I'm going to sew both of the outsides first, just so that I can get it aligned. Because I'm trying to get rid of the pins as quick as I can. Because remember, we always want to turn the pieces into one piece so that we haven't got to worry about the pins. Mm -hmm. And you would cut all your ends off and make it very neat. And then just going to then, so, and I would probably put a different foot on. Oh, no, no, this one's okay. This is coping fine. I didn't change. This is the um, quarter of an inch seam, so I probably would just do a universal foot. But there's going to be no trouble. And I'm sewing a 2.6 stitch length. If you want to go a little bit higher, you can, but remember this is now an attaching seam, so it's going to have quite a bit of pressure on it, so I would go quite small. And you still want it matching, thread matching? This, yeah. th in this point, yes. Actually, it's not too bad today. I would have gone with a lighter thread, um, but I forgot to change it. And then just reverse stitch each end, because again, because the tower is now attached, you're mm -hmm. going to have a little bit of pressure here. We do attach it at the, at the top to stop it doing that. So that's that. And now all we do is do exactly the same as we did with the tower, but this time we do it to the church. So you get the pieces in line. You'll have already done all of your applique. I already you done to. all your applique. Okay. And what I was thinking, but um, again, I, I didn't have time. I probably would have tried to do a bit of hand stitching oh, on there. That would that be really lovely nice because well. it's something that you can take on the go with you. Yeah. So I definitely would have done that. Like and you say, this is quite a quick project, but actually it's up to you. If you do want to spend longer on it and do some hand sewing, do your embroidery, do applique and hand sewing, then it's a lovely project you can spend some time. I think that would be an amazing thing to do if you yeah. did a lot of hand sewing on oh. it. Because um, you could just sit sit down quietly, yeah. just whatever they're doing, have telly on in the background, and then you could just sit and do it. So all we're going to do now, and you just need to be a little bit aware of you now you've got your tower. Mm -hmm. So you just want to make sure, and if you want to, you can put a pin through it just to secure it. Um, but it should be okay as long as you just be buying for where it is. Now, it's just something I do. You can, you can if you want to. I always start from the bottom edge because okay. I find if these are lined up, then sometimes um, if this one doesn't quite line up, you will be able to adjust it when you do your stitching. So we start at the bottom, and all I'm doing is sewing in between those two marks again. Start with a reverse stitch, and it's a seam length, so it's 2.4, 2.6. All the way up to the end. So with that last mark at the end and reverse stitch. This is quite a quick machine, so it just goes off. I have to pay attention. <laughs> um, so then we go, it, it's opposites. So now we've got the flat one, we now do the pointed one. How are we getting on for time, Kat? Sorry, um, about six minutes to end it. Yeah, oh lovely. Because the, the base of the roof is put in exactly the same as the base of the tower. But I just wanted to show you the steps this time because I know last time that, that is probably the hardest thing, getting the bases in. And then the final one is the other side. That's easy to remember. Opposites, Square, oppos yeah, yeah, opposites are the same. So you don't, you don't sew two shapes the same together. Yeah, and just triple check that you're not upside down. <laughs> I'm not telling you to just triple check that you know upside like down. <laughs> it's good to do triple check, isn't it? But but churches are quirky there because they're so old, aren't they? <laughs> just check how to you're not upside down. Oh no, you're upside down. <laughs> I can see you. But you're being silly again. <laughs> she had stands in the gallery. <laughs> no, she's not really. Oh no, okay. I thought she really was doing a handstand. <laughs> just for the management watching, we are having a lovely time yes. on the birthday, but Hannah isn't really just showing off the fact that she can do a handstand. Because she can't do a handstand. Can she not? I bet you can do a handstand and headstand and mm. yeah. My ambition is actually to do it on a supward headstand. Oh. Oh, that's that's because obviously yoga you do yoga, yoga, yeah. so that's my ambition, but I'm a bit too frightened in case I Go in. Not that I'm <laughs> not to worry, but <laughs> my ego. And then all we do is exactly the same as we did with the tower. We put the base in, but you will have this in the way. So you need to push that. So if I just show you the church base side along there, 
as you put it in, you just want to make sure that when you sew, you don't catch any of, catch any of that base. Ah, okay, yeah. You don't want to catch any of that. So push that out of the way. Push you could even pin it out of the way or something, you could. couldn't you? Yeah. Yes, that is a good idea. I didn't, but thankfully I, I didn't yeah. actually go over it. But as yeah, that would be a good idea. Of it, yeah. And then, so that's exactly the same as that principle, and the roof is the same. But this okay. side, instead of having four sides, you have six sides. Right. And to make the roof, super, super easy. This one doesn't have a handle because it didn't want to retract from the beauty of it because it, it's, it stands yeah. alone in its, its own right. So you, all you would do is you would mark, you would mark the quarter of inch in again. I haven't marked them on this, but you would mark the quarter of an inch in. And then you would put right sides together and sew between those lines. And then you would open it out and iron it. So okay. that becomes your roof, the roof top. And then you have six sides. So you've got those two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Exactly the same principle, but the six instead of four. Right, I'm with so you. So you do exactly the same. And then, what are we for time now? A uh, couple of minutes, couple of literally. Minutes. And these are even easier. Three minutes. These mm -hmm. are even easier. So you would just put your piece of wadding, and I would cut it slightly bigger than you need. Okay. And then you need to put... Ooh, right sides facing each other and try and get the tiles matching it's not going to be it's not going to be a disaster if you do because the underside is not showing right. but put the two sides together and then you would sew all the way around but leave that gap opening for turning ah good idea <laughs> yeah and then you would trim the excess off mm -hmm. and a top tip that i like to do is trim even more of the excess off just down here because you want to trim at least a quarter of an inch down so that when you turn it right side out and fold in the raw edges there's no wadding there so it'd be so much easier to do it and then all you do is would then you then hand stitch it shut or not yet no because no. You wouldn't even need to do that because on here I've done a top stitch ah. all the way around so the just outside, and I, I did do a three length, which isn't a seam length, but it's not going to come undone and it's not going to show. And then all you do is sew the two together down the centre. Now I did a zigzag stitch. I really liked that. I noticed that yeah. you did it with a slightly lighter grey. Yeah, let's see the zigzag. They look really beautiful. You can, I, I've done it always. I like that, yeah. You've, I've hand sewed it, um, I've machine sewed it together so that you've got a little ridge. I don't know which one of them, them has got a ridge on. One of them had a ridge. But this one, as long as you have the centre of the, the sewing needle down the middle, down the gap, mm -hmm. and then set it, I can't think what it was, but just have a play. And then as long as it just catches it, you don't want to have massive, just catches it. And then it, it looks yeah, so that cute, looks really it? lovely. And then you put that on there, and then the spire, Again, super easy. You've just got your spire pieces here. And then you would sew right sides together on two pieces. And then you would sew between the two quarter of an inch marks. And then do that all the way round. And then just attach the base exactly the same way. There really is nothing difficult about that. But it looks difficult because it's a funny shape. Yeah. But it isn't. As okay. long as you sew between those marks. And then you, you just... Throw it on the top of your tower. Would you hand stitch that down? Yeah. Definitely. I've hand stitched it and don't overstuff this. The more you overstuff it, it will go up like that. So less is more in this case. So don't put so much in and then you can pull it down and it looks like it just overhanging. You said slightly. that with the whole church actually. Don't overstuff don't the whole, overstuff. whole church. I used the whole bag and then I took some out. Okay. So because I wanted to put the pellets in, but yeah. don't overstuff it because it'll look a bit. Yeah, no, it's it, the proportions are beautiful. Thank you so, so much, Thank Wendy, you. our first guest in our live Thank studio. Thank you so much. It's so amazing to have yeah. you back. When are you back in? Not quite sure. The end of the month. End of the month. 28th, I think. 28th, we'll see you then. Thank we'll you so, so Thank much. You. It's been amazing. So, um, right, the church itself, it comes with your instructions. It comes with your panel. It also comes with all of your toy filling. Panel's great. It's, uh, the instructions are really, really clear as well. It comes with lots of great images. Those of you that have made any of the doorstops in the past, as, as Wendy said, she's covered those other parts in previous shows. And then it was just the, the tower, which we went through today. So... 
absolutely make the most of it. Way, way, way over half the stock is gone. Loads of people checking out. It's going to be the last all stop that we do for some time. So absolutely make the most of it. And then you can spend a bit more time, like we say, doing some hand sewing and embroidery. You can do all sorts. Uh, just to remind you, you're getting your panel, you get your instructions, and you're getting your toy filling for £19.99. Now, I just want to briefly go over some of the doorstops that are also part of Sewing Street. So we've got the gingerbread house. The gingerbread house is on its own. This is your gingerbread house. It's so lovely, isn't it? Look, perfect for Christmas as well. Your Merry Christmas applique parts, your little puddings and everything. So you get in here your panel. You get your instructions. There you go. Um, no, I'm on the wrong one, but there's your, there's your um, gingerbread. Thank you. There's your gingerbread panel you also have all of your instructions which are the same instructions for all of the rest of the as I say all of the rest of the, the door stops they're all the same shape so you get the same instructions which are these ones um, you then also get bonder web and toy filling with this one you get bonder web and toy filling and that is to make your gingerbread man doorstop which is just so cute isn't it absolutely love all of those applique parts all of the other houses are available on their own on the website. But we've also done some bundles because they look lovely as bookends or on the uh, as doorstops as well. So we've got the haberdashery and the florist. Um, I haven't got the haberdashery here. Um, oh, have I? There's the florist. I'll find you the panel. You get... Um, there's the florist, and I think the haberdashery was the one the, the first one I opened. There's the there's the uh, the finished one of the florist, and then the haberdashery. Oh, sorry, let me find it. Is this panel? So you get the two panels, plus you then also will get your instructions. You get poly wadding and toy filling and you also get bonder web. But they're beautiful, aren't they? With a the lovely uh, uh, bunting, your post box. You've got your little, look at the notions that are in the window. So you've got all your sewing machine and your mannequin. Looks like our set. Love it. There's your haberdashery shop and there's your florist panel. They are available separately, but we love these bundles. And remember, you're looking at a discount of £10 when you're spending £40 more in one transaction. I'll remind you in a second of the code. The sweet shop and the pet shop. Right, I've got those. There's the pet shop and there's the sweet shop. These are the two that you're making. There you go. You're getting your poly wadding, you're getting your panels, you're getting your toy filling, you're getting bonder web and you're getting instructions. Oh, they're so adorable. And you get your two exclusive Sewing Street panels. There's your pet shop and here is your sweet shop. That's really good value, isn't it? Really, really good value for money. £29.99 and that's to make both of them. Okay, the pellets. I don't, I don't know what happened then, but they're laughing. <laughs> there we go. Um, we've got the pellets. Kilogram of pellets, recycled pellet, uh, the polythene pellets, £5.99. Really, really weighty. They're great for with all of your doorstops if you're making the whole collection, and that's going to be plenty enough and fantastic with loads of your projects to weigh them down, perfect for doorstops, and with no extra postage and packaging. Just £5.99. Oh, today has been a really, really special day. Thanks so much for spending uh, your Wednesday morning with us. The first day in our studio. We'll be back again tomorrow. It's so good. It's been extra special today, though, because to launch our new studio, our marketing team have been very, very kind to say, look, you can also use a discount code today to get £10 off when spending £40. All you need to do is use the code new studio. Uh, so type that into the, the, the website or, of course, speak to the customer service team on any of your 
your orders. Now that is across, obviously today's show, also on the website until midnight tonight. So have a good scour through the web and see what is available because there's loads of people checking out on all rulers, cutting mats, uh, rotary cutters, spare blades, threads, kits. There's loads of kits on the website from yesterday, the Bargello butterfly. I mean, there's loads of beautiful kits on the website. Definitely have a look. Uh, look all the way through on the categories. Uh, we're talking about the Prim Mini Iron. That's on the website. Absolutely make the most of it. That's a really good one to, to check out on. There's so much. All of the, the sewing machines, the mannequins, the, uh, the dress forms that we had yesterday. Have a look. Okay, tomorrow's show. We got a jam-packed show for you tomorrow. So fabulous fabrics coming up at eight o'clock. We've also got a nine o'clock the Irish pansy quilt with Delphine. Delphine, Delphine. We can't help but sing that song when we um, have Delphine. Then at ten o'clock we've got kits revisited. Loads of brilliant kits coming up for you at ten. And then eleven o'clock. Um, oh, hang on. Eleven and twelve. Is it? It's a two hour special with Gary. It's an extended show till one o'clock tomorrow, which is so exciting. I must say, me and Hannah are so gutted that we're not here with Gary tomorrow because Hannah and I love, love, love Gary. One here all about his scuba diving. He's a scuba diving instructor as well, as a incredible, uh, well, he knows all about the Duke is. He knows all about the Jukies. Uh, engineer and expert on the Juki machine. So if you've got any questions for him, get them in nice and early so Kat can uh, make sure that they, they, you know, we ask him and talk through them on the show, the air threader and the Juki machine. We were already saying last week that we want to do like a workshop with him because it's such incredible machines, which you're, you've got a two hour special of tomorrow. There's still another hour of the replay to enjoy. Um, if the doggy bags, by the way, are on the website. So if you're watching on the replay, you're also eligible for the discount code today. Um, I think yesterday I was saying on, on air that the doggy codes weren't on the website. They are now. They are now, which is very exciting. If they're in stock, they might have sold out. But I must say a huge thank you, obviously, to Wendy, to all of the team. We've had so many beautiful messages. Thanks to you for watching, of course, as well. But a huge round of applause to all of our technical team for getting us on air today. It's been brilliant. You've got Rebecca Reid on with you tomorrow, joining Delphine and Gary. And I will see you on Friday at 8 o'clock. We'll see you then. <laughs>